Hello and welcome to more Pokemon Soul Silver. It's time to go to the second gym and see if we can get yet another badge and hopefully special rend all the things. There we go, guys. <laughs> That's good enough, man. I'm not gonna script my intros. It's just totally on the fly. Subscribe to Psycho. Heck yeah, man. Also, shoutouts to anyone watching this video in the full video version. You just heard me do an intro for the, uh, I guess technically for this video, but also for the uh, edited version. Also getting more phone calls from Professor Elm. Just what I always wanted. Um, right! That egg! Okay, so we got the Dodrio egg last time from doing the weird stuff, but we're gonna get the egg from Professor Elm that normally <gasps> contains Togepi. Also, Herman, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Okay, so we're gonna go over to the Pokemon Center, and we're gonna go get some eggs! We can fry them up, maybe make some scrambled eggs, maybe poach them. Um, I think it's this guy, right? He's got a hat. He seems important. Wait, I have a hat. Am I important? <laughs> Hello, future me. Yeah, I'm trying out a new a new style to the text on screen. A lot of people were saying that last time it was really distracting. I'm thinking this time it's going to be not quite as bad because it doesn't actually animate in. Egg is in the mart. It's in the mart. Okay. Also, metal. And thank you for the bits, man. Let the bits begin. Heck yeah. Okay, let's go to the mart, maybe buy some vegetables, because we like to be healthy here. And maybe talk to a scientist who does not have a cool hat. Darn it, man. This is from Professor Elm. Oh, guys. Do we take care of the egg? We could say no. We don't have to take his stinking eggs. Watch as the Dodrio eggs at Dunn's Farce. That would be awesome. Do it? Okay, we'll take it. My party's full. Wow, how did we get a full party already? Okay, we'll go deposit something. Do you have to, like, write out a check to deposit your Pokemon? I don't know if the Pokemon Center counts as a bank. We booted up the PC. Okay, let's go ahead and deposit... Um... Who did we, like, never use? Guys, let's be honest. Are we ever going to use Togethic? Level 2, they have a terrible moveset. Um, it's gonna be hard to evolve them. I guess we could deposit Pinsir. I'm feeling like we should deposit Togethic, though, because it's it's gonna be so hard to catch them back up. So they're gonna go into box number one. If someone dies, we can bring them back in. <laughs> You're not gonna use Togethic even if it has the best name. There we go. Uh, Togekiss is useful. Yeah, the problem is that we have evolutions randomized, so... If we go through all the trouble to evolve it, it could still just turn into something awful. Whoa. Whoa, my hair is inside the desk! I think my hair is in the fourth dimension. Is that what people mean when they say, Your hair is out of this world. It could turn into a karma pig. It could! Alright guys, so we've got the egg. Did it say what kind of egg it is? Togethic could be a Dunsparce. That's true. What if it evolves into Pidgey? Well, then Pidgey could evolve into something else, right? The worst case is it evolves into something that can't evolve, basically. Uh, let's go to Pokemon, guys. Let's go see what we have here. Uh, was it this one? Okay, so it doesn't say what kind of egg it is. Now, the question is, do we just start running in circles to hatch it, or do we just continue our adventure? I, I feel like we should just move on. Although... Do not talk to me. Just because you got those hair clips like me doesn't mean we have anything in common. Hatch them eggs, boys. <laughs> okay, we could hatch them both. Oh also, Mini Matt, thank you so much for the sub. I feel like I missed someone, man. Uh, let me scroll up. Dude, if I missed any subs, I'm really sorry, guys. There's so much sounds going on that I get lost sometimes. I think we're good. Hatch it, dude. Okay, guys, we're gonna run back and forth. Gotta find a nice straight patch of land so we can just run back and forth forever. Don't count on me, gosh dang it. What if it doesn't evolve? Oh no. Now hatching it would be faster if we got a bicycle. I guess since we're just gonna run back and forth, I'll turn on the sprint button here. Yeah, this seems like a good spot. Well, let's just buckle in, guys. We're in for a long ride. We gotta hatch these eggs. What if it's by barrel? Um, I guess it could be that. It's a shame you don't have the bike yet. Yeah, you get the bike in Goldenrod, right? Use Turbo. Let's see how fast Turbo is here. <gasps> oh my goodness. Uh, well, also, T-Mac, thank you so much for the sub, dude. 
Turbo is just, it's technically faster, but it's just so laggy and awful. I'd rather just enjoy the nice music, not have it lag all over the place. You're not a thinking calculator? Exactly, dude. Go Turbo, put on some initial D music. Oh, man. Get better Turbo. If anyone knows how to make Turbo not awful on, on Desmume, let me know, because I have a really good computer, but for some reason the Turbo is still all weird. Use speed up? Oh, man. I don't know how to do that, man. When did this start? What's up, Blue? It started just a few minutes ago, actually. Yep, we start the stream every time at 12 p.m. No, yeah? I think 12 p.m. Noon. It's noon EST. Um, I think if you type that into Google, it automatically tells you if it's daylight savings or not. I don't know, man. Don't limit the frame rate in your settings. Let me go check. Uh, tools, config, frame skip. There's a limit frame rate button. That seems slightly better, but it's still pretty choppy, man. So I turned off limit frame rate, but it's still... It's still pretty bad, dude. What emulator is that? This is Desmume. Config emulation settings and change block size to 100. What does that do? Gotta go fast? Yeah. What if the egg hatches into a Togethic? Then we can finally name it Togel, man! When did this start? What's up, Blue? It still started just a few minutes ago, man. How do you have it set up? I have no idea. It's Desmume? <laughs> I don't think it's Desmume, because the, the way they have it ca capitalized, they have it, the D capitalized, the S capitalized, and then me at the end. So I think it's Desmume, or Desmume. I don't know. But they capitalize it weird, so I'm pretty sure they want you to pronounce it not like Desmume. If it's another Togetic, it'll be Togetic with three C's. I was gonna make a Star Wars reference, but it's not three CPO, it's the other way around. What if it hatches into another Mr. Donut? I guess we could have Mr. Donut Boy, I don't know. Quality content, always quality content here, guys. This is the best way to start off a new episode of the Nuzlocke, running back and forth forever. But thankfully, if you're watching this on the YouTube uh, full video version, you can just fast forward. But anyone who's watching this live, you just gotta stick it out with me, guys. Who's the better waifu, Hilda or Rosa? Um, isn't that Gen 5? Guys, we're in Gen 4 right now. It could be like Desmond's. I don't know, man. I'm just gonna say Desmume. Card art next town. Yeah, usually whenever we get to a new town, we do that. By the way, guys, what is the sequence of events that has to happen before we can get to the second badge? We just have to go through a route, and then a tunnel, and then the slowpoke well, right? And that's it? I'm pretty sure getting to the badge 2 is pretty quick. Your character has gone insane. I mean, my head is kind of just like breathing in and out. It's weird. That's it? Oh yeah, we gotta destroy Team Rocket at the Slowpoke well. Just use King Crimson, what is that? Please Turbo. Dude, the Turbo is very unpleasant. If it was like really fast, like a Game Boy Advance Turbo, I would do it. But the amount of unpleasantness it brings for like a few percent faster is just not worth it. We must be getting close now. I mean, I guess it kind of depends on which Pokemon they are, right? Because I think different Pokemon take different amounts of steps. Did you turn frame skipping off? Yeah, I frame skipping on zero and I turned it off and it's still not very smooth. Again, I have a, I have a very good computer, so I, I don't know, man. Check the egg. Can you do that? Let's see. Uh, let's go to Pokemon. Uh... The egg sounds can be heard coming from inside. It will hatch soon! All right, so that's, that's the one from Primo, so that's Dodrio. And then this one, it doesn't seem close to hatching, so that one's gonna take a little bit longer here. So Dodrio should be here pretty soon. The longer the egg takes to hatch, the better the mod. If you get a Celebi, name it Clevy, I will. 
we go to Kanto. So, for the second region, basically, um, if I die before the Elite Four, I'll start the challenge over and try again. If I die after the Elite Four, then the challenge is over. So, I will try to do Kanto, but I'm only going to try it once, basically. Because dying at that point, that's just too much stuff to have to redo. So, yeah, if we die after that point, the challenge just fails. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, man. Name the egg Gatorade. I'll name it that if it's a crocodile. I'm using uh, Desmume. Let me move this real quick. Ah! Because I clicked away, I can't move. There we go. Okay. This is the most exciting part, guys. This is the stuff you don't get to see. If you've ever just only watched the highlight videos back in the day on previous Nuzlocks, this is the kind of stuff you missed. The grinding, the part where we walk back and forth for 20 minutes. <laughs> this is the stuff that gets cut out, man. You know what we could do? We could just hatch the first egg and then move on and let the second egg hatch whenever it hatches. <laughs> Breeding resident sleeper. Exactly, dude. Solgrin. What's up, Solgrin? Place your bets now, guys. Do you think the Dodrio egg will actually be a Dodrio, or do you think the Dodrio egg is going to be something else? I mean, it was supposed to be Wooper, and then it said Dodrio, so I, I feel like it's going to actually be Dodrio. It's going to be a Chansey. But the Togepi egg, I have no idea what it's going to be. If it... Okay, I'm just going to say it now, guys. If the Togepi egg is actually a Togepi, I will release it instantly. I'm shiny hunting, so it doesn't matter how long this takes. There you go. Oh yeah, whatever we get here, guys, we're going to be naming it Sploing. Gosh dang, it said it was close to hatching. Did it lie to me? Did I get bamboozled? This is a very long, very soon. Notice me, Psycho Chan. What's up, Rabbit? How long have you been streaming? I've been streaming since uh, noon EST. I start the uh, Nuzlocke streams at noon EST, so it's been about 15 minutes. Three hours later. No, we're not going to be here for three hours. I, I think that once we hatch the first egg, I'll just move on. Time is relative? I don't think so. I think, I think noon EST is always noon EST. I don't know. Try pressing the equals button on your keyboard. Oh gosh. What if it does something bad though? Okay, I'm gonna save save just in case. Just in case something bad happens. Target FPS set to 1.25. Was that bad? <laughs> I don't know what that did. Well hey grinding. There we go, there we go, guys. Okay. I feel like the music is kind of off now. Hold on. How do I turn? The, how do I turn what I just did off? No, no. How do I set it back to zero? I don't want it up. <laughs> I want it back to normal, man. Can I do minus? Okay, okay. Jeez. Anyways, <laughs> let's go figure out what the crud this is. I predict it's just, it's gonna be Dodrio. They're not gonna trick us. No spoofs, no bamboozles. It's just straight up Dodrio, right? It is, okay. There we go. Also, Ocean Bagel gifting this stuff. Thank you, Ocean Bagel. All right, guys, I... No! Gosh dang it, the B is in the wrong place on an Xbox controller. Okay, I was talking about this last stream, but the B and the A are in different positions on the Xbox and on the Nintendo Switch, and I play a lot of Nintendo Switch, so when I try to hit B, it's in the wrong spot, dude, because I'm using an Xbox controller. Gosh dang it. Wait, but I just save stated. We can load. Haha. -ha. Dude, we're so smart. <laughs> That's cheating. I can't go back now. It's it's been done. 
This is the only time I will abuse save states, guys. We gotta have sploing. Okay, I'm gonna press. I'm gonna press A. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Yo, Sir Wall, thank you for the Twitch Prime stuff, man. Okay. Use the Switch controller then? I can't, not on not on PC. At least I don't know how. Okay, we're gonna name him Sploing. I don't know if this means anything. Here we go, man. Also, Alley Cat, thank you so much for the bits. Hi Psycho is catch a trap pinch, name it Nabisco. We'll see, man. I don't wanna pre-plan any names or anything like that. Oh, it was two people that did bits. It was Alicat and someone else. Oh, also the Boss King. Holy crud. Thank you for all the bits, man. Alright, guys. We can't use the Tingle Tuner, guys. This is not Legend of Zelda. RNG manipulation? No. Okay, so we got our Dodrio. I actually want to go check him out. See what he's got here. So he starts at level 1, which is kind of unfortunate. However, he's so got a Brave Nature, and he's got this as his moveset. Wow! He's got Tackle, guys. Tackle. Oh, and we've also got Miracle Eye. Um, Seismic Toss and Lava Plume. Kind of a wacky moveset. I don't know if I'm digging it. <laughs> What's up, Metalin? I, I don't always cheat, do I? Okay, guys. We're going to move on. I don't even know if I'm going to train that Splung because he's kind of got a terrible moveset. Level Seismic Toss. It'll do one damage right now. Yeah, Tackle does have the same type of attack bonus. Okay, we can go catch this, but I don't know if I have any balls. Let me check. Uh, gosh dang it, touch screen. Okay, we've got 13 balls. We'll be fine. Let's go see what we've got here. Will it be a Chansey? What's up, True? Oh, fantastic, guys. Just what I always wanted to find in my Nuzlocke. Let's go! You know what? I think Pidgey's easy enough to catch. We can just go for it. Wait, why are the balls at the top jiggling? What the crud? I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> there we go, guys. Let's go. Holding down B, catching ourselves a Pidgey right here. Wait, the ball just glow orange. Orange. Glo glowed orange, not glow orange. It evolves at level 18. That's going to be a little, a little ways to go, but... Man, we could get something good here. Yeah, random evolution. So when it does evolve, it could turn into anything. Come on, let's catch it. First capture of the day, let's go. How am I failing to capture a Pidgey, dude? Okay, it's got Seed Flare, that's cool. Let's try again, guys. Holding down B. Wiggle your left toe. Wait, but which one? Which left toe? Come on. Come on. And... It still broke out. Really? <laughs> this is the evilest Pidgey. Sacred Fire? Okay, I really want I really want this Pidgey now. What the crud? Oh no. Oh no, he's burned. Oh no. Okay. Um I just need to catch him right now so we don't slowly get chipped away and die. Come on. Come on. Yes, we got him, guys. The sacred fire Pidgey. He thinks he's a ho. -o. But, oh no, he's just a Pidgey. But guys, do we name him Trogdor? Name him PG? <laughs> we could name him Poop-G. Yeah, we definitely need to go heal. Name it Poopy Pants. Okay, guys. Do we name it Trogdor? Or do we name it Poopy Pants? Or we could name it something to do with Ho-O, yeah. Yeah, we could name it Ho-No, because it's not a Ho-O. Okay, guys, new question. Trogdor or Ho-No? <laughs> That's such a stupid name, dude. Okay, we'll do, we'll do Ho-No. For those who don't know, uh, Sacred Fire is Ho-Oh's signature move, and I guess this Pidgey has it. Ho-No! Oh, so I, I do wanna... I do wanna go get them instead of, uh, Sploing, because they're going to Digivolve into something with a good moveset, dude. So forget Dodrio, because Dodrio can't even Digivolve, so... We're gonna stick with, uh, ho -No here.
And when you say his name, it just sounds like you're really worried. Oh no! Let's go ahead and... Yeah, we'll get rid of Splun, guys. And let's go... Get out of here. Let's go to withdraw. At least it evolves early. Yeah, that's definitely true. And yeah, let's go check out that full moveset. We've got... Um, we know we've got Sacred Fire, but let's go see what the rest of it is here. Uh, let's go to Pokemon. Oh yeah, we need to heal as well. Go to Summary. Um, we've got... The card is Vacuum. We've got Tickle! Oh, that's so cute, man! The user tickles the foe into laughing, reducing its attack and defense stats. That's so cute! Vacuum Wave. The user whirls its fists to send a wave of pure va- <laughs> It's not- It's not impure vacuum, guys. It's not 95% vacuum. It is pure vacuum. The user generates a shockwave from within its body. Alright, so... Great moves, guys. Sacred Fire, Seed Flare, and Tickle. Okay, let's go heal. I actually, I really do want to train up that Pidgey, so we're gonna put him up front and get to work. The bird is stronger than its body can handle. Yeah! All vacuum all the time. There you go. Oh, vacuum is priority. Gotcha. Uh, let's go... No, not the key item. How do I open the menu? There it is. Um, let's go... Pokemon. Let's put... Oh, no! We'll put them up front. Also, thank you for the bids, uh, the bits, Rin. 101? Oh no, back to 2016. It was 2016, that was the Platinum Nuzlocke, right? Because I know 2013 was Fire Red. 2014, I tried Emerald. Did we do anything in 2015? I can't even remember. Alright guys, let's go catch something... Wait? Yeah. Let's go catch something in the Ruins of Valve, because we can't... It's not going to be unknown. It'll be something else, right? When do the highlights come out on Psycho? So the, the full videos come out on Saturdays, but then the, the highlights themselves come out on Sundays. I am the Tickle Master. Wasn't Emerald 2015? Oh, maybe. Maybe we didn't do anything 2014. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh, no way! It's actually Blissey! Oh no! Let's go for... Um... Vacuum Wave. Wait. Will Pidgey kill with Vacuum Wave? <laughs> Solgren going crazy. Um... This thing has a terrible catch rate, doesn't it? And I've only got 10 balls. It's Joy! Okay, we're gonna do Vacuum Wave. It'll kill? They have a lot of HP, and Pidgey's not exactly very strong. And it's not a strong attack. I think it'll... Oh, it's a special attack. Okay, so it's not gonna do Crud. <laughs> yeah. Mega Kick. Oh man, I don't want to die. Um... I guess let's keep going for it. I could go for... I could go for a Tickle. Lock on. Okay. So th they're not gonna miss next turn. Now, I know that uh, Blissey does not have great attack stats, so I'm gonna Tickle them. I don't think they've got great special either, do they? Ow. That kind of hurts a little bit, though. Also, Rats, so thank you for the bits. Okay, we use some Tickle there. Uh-oh. Okay, we might die. Yo, mister, thank you so much for the, uh, for this Twitch Prime sub there, man. Okay, let's go for Vacuum Wave. Now, Vacuum Wave's not gonna do any more damage because it's a, uh, special attack. The catch rate is even lower than Alakazam. Okay, guys, so we have to play pretty risky. We have to get them very low. If we can't get them very low, then there's no chance at this working. So let's go use a potion here, guys. We've only got three potions, so we got to be a little bit careful. But I think once we get them low, I'm just going to swap to uh, Umbreon instead. We might die equals three damage. Name it Poopy. We gotta catch it first, guys. This is not gonna be an easy catch here. <gasps> oh my goodness. I'll switch pretty soon, guys. Yo, Harry Butt Farts. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. No criticals. No criticals. Okay, let's do one more. Wait, am I gonna die if I do another? If they go for confusion, I'm dead. So... 
Okay, guys, we've got two options. One, we could heal up and try to damage them some more. The other option is to swap and start trying to catch it. Also, Predator, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Now, if we swap, then we're probably not going to catch Chansey, because we've only got 10 balls. Their catch rate's very low. Uh, I think we're going to risk the potion. We're going to use the potion, guys. I want to get them a little bit lower. Because I really don't feel like at this HP we have a very good chance at actually catching them. Are we going to go with Joy again? We'll do Joy with a different face. Okay, no critical. No critical. Okay. Oh, guys. Do we go for one more or do we swap? Swap to Donut? Yeah, we can swap to Donut. Um, yeah, I'll swap to Umbreon before we start throwing balls. Go for it one more. If it criticals, it'll probably kill, but... What are the chances of critical? Not that high, right? Also, Bear, thank you for the sub. Okay, one more, guys. Okay, okay, we're good. So now, we're gonna go and try to catch this. I don't think we have any way to, um... We don't have any way to, like, put them to sleep or anything, so this is the best we can do. So we're in a great spot. I wish we had a status on them, but guys, we've only got 10 balls. I really want this Blissey. Oh, crud, we've only got 9 balls. Well, I really want this Blissey. It's going to be hard to catch. We need to hold down B. Let's go. Come on, Blissey. Let's get in the ball. Nope. Not even a shake. Not even a single wiggle. Pedal dance. They never use that on Pidgey. Okay. No! Oh, no. They're going to confuse themselves. Pedal Dance will confuse themselves, and they're going to kill themselves, dude. Oh, crud. We really need to catch it really quickly, guys. Let's go. If we don't catch it, they will confuse themselves, and they will kill themselves. Come on. Oh. Oh! <laughs> no! We had it, dude! Pedal Dance? Oh, yeah. I think they have to use it for two to three turns. So this might be it. They're confused. If we get bad luck, they're dead. This might be our last chance, guys. We have to get this one. Let's go. If this misses, they're probably going to kill themselves, knowing my luck. Didn't even work. Not even a single wiggle. Come on, get through, get through. Please get through. Yes, okay, we've got another chance. Another chance is ours. <laughs> another chancey, you see. Come on, Blissey. Just wiggle a few times and then stop. Wiggle three times and stop. Not even a wiggle. Yes, they're out of confusion, but they're going back into pedal dance. So we've got it two to three more turns before they're confused again. Looking good, guys. We might actually get to use all of our balls before they kill themselves. Five more balls here. Let's go. Okay. And they break out without a single wiggle once again. Gosh dang it. There's Pedal Dance number two, and they're confused again. So once again, this might be our final chance. What do we do, guys? Okay, I know not everyone knows how to do this, but snap your fingers in your left hand. Wait, is that good? No, snap your fingers in both hands, guys. Wait, but if you're doing that, you can't hold B. Okay, hold B with one hand and snap your fingers in the other hand. There we go, because you can't let go of B. Let's go. Ah, I'm not good at snapping. I'll snap. Pokemon snap? It doesn't work, guys. We tried the Pokemon snap strats. Don't, don't do it. Okay, okay, okay. We've got four more chances. Well, up to four more chances. Maybe less than that. No, three chances. Come on. It says right there, I use one Pokemon. Why can't I throw two? Oh, oh. Yes, dude! We got it! We dodged them, hitting themselves in confusion twice, and we got it. Holy crud. Holy crud. It has a very compassionate nature. If it sees a sick Pokemon, it will nurse the sufferer back to health. Oh, yeah! We are definitely giving that one a nickname. Okay, guys. We know we're naming it Joy. But, we have to make a new face, so guys, post your ideas for what face we could do here. We could do this, um, we could do... That's too sad. 
We could do this. Wait, what other symbols do we have access to? Oh man, we've got a lot of choices. Okay, we could do like the giant eyes, right? Could, should we do the face that's just like the giant eyes? It actually fits perfectly too. <laughs> you guys want to do the hello face? But look at, we have this crud. <laughs> we have this crud. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, so how do we do a woe? Is it capital O, lowercase w? Do you guys want the a woe face? I mean, we, we could do it. Okay, okay, let's let's try out the face that Solgren's posting right there. So it's left bracket, and then O space W O. That's terrifying. Are you? I don't know, man. I feel like the regular Owo. I feel like the regular Owo looks a little bit better. We're just gonna do regular Owo, guys. There we go. Joy Owo. And then transfer to the box. <laughs> name it Bubsy. I will not name it Bubsy. But about ooh, I think a whoa is better than ooh. All right, guys, we're gonna go back to the Pokemon Center. We have gotta get rid of someone. Who do we get rid of? Bronzor. Also, Medlin. Thank you for the bits, man. To get a half of it, you gotta bone to Chansey. What does bone to Chansey even mean? Because they said that a lot in. I can't remember if it was Pokemon Sun. Play-Doh's good, but who else could we get rid of? I mean, I guess we could get rid of Hono, but we could... Uh, no, you know what? Let's get rid of Pinsir. Let's get rid of Pinsir, guys. So, lately I've been putting crud in my water to make it tasty. Like, I, I got some lemons and I... Cut them up, put that crud in there, and then I was like, Hmm, my water tastes like lemons. But today, I mixed it up, guys. Forget the lemons, man. Chopped up some cucumbers, man. Cucumbers. Put that crud in some water. Took a drink of that one. I was like, hmm, my water tastes like cucumbers. So, now my water tastes like cucumbers. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. We're gonna withdraw. Let's go for... Blissey! Does it automatically heal them when we do this? Also, Noah, thank you for the bits, man. Did someone die? Thank goodness, no. We actually caught a Blissey just now. Wait, she's holding the Oval Stone? <gasps> oh Wait, goodness. what is that? What is an Oval Stone? Also, Meme Lord with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, dude. Okay, so here's the moveset. Mega Kick, Confusion, Lock On, and Pedal Dance. Oval Stone evolved happening? Really? Oh, that's cool. Wait a second. Does that mean we can use our one Pokemon at the breeding place to breed this Blissey, get a Happiny, and then evolve it and see what it evolves into? Hmm. Calm Nature, is that good? Massive Special Defense, heck yeah, dude. Okay, who do we put up front? I guess we should probably keep working on Hono a little bit here. You know, speaking of Cucumber Water, guys, I'm gonna take a quick sip of water. Also, Styles, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I need to be taking sips of water every like 10 or 20 minutes just to Keep the throat, keep the throat hydrated. It's very important when you're doing commentary to drink cred. I can't decide if I like cucumbers. Cucumber lime Gatorade? Yo, so... I was watching this guy, I believe his name was, he's a YouTuber, I believe his name was Nihongo Gamer, and, um, well, he's like a, you know, he's like, he, I think he lives in England or something, and he was, he passed a, uh, Japanese test, and to celebrate, he had, like, this giant ham sandwich, and he had, like, 50 slices of cucumber, like, do people really do that? Do people put that much cucumber on sandwiches, man? 
I don't know, to me, Cucumber is, like, very strong. Like, very- to me, Cucumber overpowers everything, so I like a little bit of Cucumber. What flavor Cucumber? Wait, there's multiple flavors of Cucumber? I- I did not know that. Wait, hold on, guys. We're going to go to the cave pretty soon, so I need to get some balls to, uh, bring to there. <laughs> don't sandwich shame. Dude, last night I had a- I had a fish sandwich, dude. It was like a giant piece of fried fish with grilled onions and some tartar sauce and some mustard. It was great. <laughs> it was really good. Okay, we've got lots of money, guys. We're gonna buy 22 and a half. Okay, we'll just buy 22 balls here. The power of editing, yeah. Yeah, the streams are very different from the videos. Well, not so different from the, the full video, because the full video is basically the same, but the highlight video, like all of this downtime gets cut out. I mean, that's why, that's why I take a three hour stream and it becomes a 20 minute video, because I cut out a lot of fluff. People never eat cucumber? Oh man. Okay, so we could not catch this. We could kill it though. And in fact, we do have seed flare, so let's try. Is he doing solar beam? Um, um, sir, please do not solar beam me. Yo, Ofri, what's up, man? We caught a Blissey. We almost got it. All right, so what I'm going to do here is vacuum wave, and that should finish him off here, hopefully. Got him. Okay, critical hit as well. Also, Carby with the sub. Thank you, Carby. 68 experience, guys. That's a lot. Now that's a level 7. Good. Dude, Pidgey's holding their own, man. They're doing great. Oh, I was about to get into a Pokemon's battle. Oh, Psyduck, what are you doing here, man? I'm just gonna kill you again. Oh, guys, I will definitely be streaming Pokemon Let's Go. The question is, which one do I stream? That, I'm not sure. Arm Thrust? Ow. Wait, can this hit five times? Uh-oh. Oh no! Okay, stop slapping me, dude. Five times. He really gets all of them. He really does. Wait, hold on, guys. Hold on. Eevee is way cuter than Pikachu? Oh no! Hold on, hold on. Don't get all five. Don't get all five. Okay, he only got four. I need to go heal. I can't believe it, but I really need to go heal already. Also, guys, I'm just saying it. Pikachu is definitely cuter than Eevee. Like, don't get me wrong. Eevee is cute as crud. Eevee is very cute. I sometimes am like, should Eevee have gone on my top 10 cutest? Maybe. But still, like, I think that, uh, I think that Pikachu is a little cuter, man. And here's the thing. On, um... On Pokemon Let's Go, because it's Gen 1, I'm guessing we can't even evolve them into Iceon, which is my favorite of the evolutions. But I do like Vaporeon as a lot as well. Togekiss is the cutest of them all. I mean, I still stand by my top 10 cutest Pokemon. In terms of, like, the number one, I still think Cubchoo is the cutest Pokemon. Cubchoo is so stinking cute. Let's not read any signs, guys. You know, it's so funny, in the modern age, watching my parents, like, drive around with GPS, and they're like, every- whenever there's like, one little thing that goes wrong, they get totally lost, and I'm like, how did you guys manage before GPS? Oh, crud. Please no Psychros. Okay, you guys can post Psycho, that's fine. But I'm just like, man, I just don't- how did people manage before GPS, dude? Gosh, you'd have to, like, get out paper? Can you imagine a paper map, or even worse, having to talk to someone? Oh, Asking for directions? Ugh. That sounds awful, man. <laughs> I see the Cybirdies mixed in with the Psychros. Here we go. I haven't seen you around before, so you think you're pretty tough? Yeah, like jerky! Okay, we've got Dragonair. Is anyone else surprised that there's not an airline called Dragonair? Um, 
We're gonna swap. I who had an ice beam? I think it was Harley, right? Harley has ice beam. Human interaction is the worst thing ever. I don't know, man. I mean, I I am definitely in real life a pretty shy person, but I do like human interaction just in the right scenarios. Like, if I'm at a gaming convention full of other people that are also big nerds like myself, then I love it, you know. But when I'm surrounded by normies, I'm like, eh, yeah, let's keep to myself. Stockpile. Hmm. What is stockpile? The user charges up power and raises both its defense and special defense. The move can be used three times. Do I even want that? Probably not. Stockpile is so good. Oh, maybe that is good then. Okay. But what would I get rid of? Because I've got a very good move set. It's cosmic power, but you can only do it three times. Gotcha. Get rid of Slash. But Slash is so good. and My, my Harley does not have very much PP is the main issue here. But if you guys think we should get rid of Slash, I guess we can get rid of Slash. Slash extreme speed is better in every way. That's true. The only concern of mine is the PP, but you know what? Let's do it. Let's get rid of Slash. I mean, I'm sure we'll learn a new move later on or get a TM or something like that. Ooh, Jinx coming out. Um, Jinx is going to be weak to fire, actually, so Hono might stand a chance. Keep in mind, Jinx is part ice, but because moves are randomized, they probably don't have an ice attack. So I think Pidgey can survive. But if I'm wrong, I'm totally dead. Okay. We are going to try Sacred Fire. Tickle! Oh no, we're so dead. I should have tickled them back, man. We could have had a tickle battle. Dude, tickling is brutal. I mean, I think a lot of people see tickling as, like, kind of playful and fun because... You know, when you, when you tickle, when you get tickled, you're kind of laughing. But the person getting tickled is in absolute torment. That card is torture, man. Tickling is awful. And if you tickle people, you might be a bad person. Or maybe not. I don't know, man. But we're going to go for some spatial rend here. So we're going to... See if we can get level 14 here. Dude, even with the split experience, still level 9 on Hono here. Lucky Chant, is that any good? Let's find out. So Lucky Chant, the user chants an inc incantation towards the sky, preventing the pro from landing critical hits. Meh. Meh. <laughs> I don't think I want that. Yeah. Tickling became popular in medieval torture times. You know, I don't doubt it. Tickling is pretty brutal. Like, the only positive to tickling is that I don't think it leaves any physical harm. Also, Ocean Bigel, thank you for the bits, man. Tickle is super effective against me. I'm actually not very ticklish. I think the only thing I'm ticklish is my sides. Like, my armpits or my feet. Or, where else do people ticklish? Like, the back of their knees or whatever? Uh, I'm not ticklish there. The only place I'm ticklish is my sides, really. And even then, not just like... You gotta tickle me pretty hard for it to really bug me. So, I'm not very ticklish, but... It's still... Really unsatisfying just to have someone, like, poke your side. It emotionally destroys you, dang. Alright, guys, we're gonna go talk to this lady right here and see if she wants to fight us. To the death! You're on the phone, that's okay, just set it down. Can you tickle yourself? I don't think so. Elite Trainer Zoe, sending out a Trico. Alright, looks like it's time for a little bit of Sacred Fire. Dude, Hono is catching up in levels really quick. I had a tickle fight with my little brother yesterday. Oh, dang. I caught a rando silver stream. Heck yeah, what's up, Poke Mario? Also, we're up to level 10. Um. Okay, 10 and a half. Even better. I don't know if any of you guys were like this when you were young. Oh, can we be friends? You want to give me your phone number? Sure. You also, Rin, thank you for all the bits. Is there a way I can donate not bits? 
Um, I don't think so. I don't think I have anything like that open. But thank you, Rin. Don't get her phone number. It's too late. I've already done it. Um, but yeah, when I was a kid, I had a few friends that were like very, very defensive about their age. Like if they were eight and a half and you called them eight, they got really offended. They're like, excuse me, sir. I am eight and a half. Wait, did I just miss? I did. Oh, take all numbers for maximum annoyance. I'm doing my best, man. She's the worst phone number to have. Yeah, when you're young, I guess the, the half of an age is a lot more big of a deal. Okay, let's go kill this kid. That glance, it's intriguing. What are you, double D? What if Hono evolves into Ho? That would be amazing. Oh, Togepi? Wait, guys. I just realized. If you rearrange the letters of Togepi, you get Topig. Let's go for Vacuum Wave here. Critical hit. Nice. Hydro Pump. Ow. Ow, ow. Okay, Vacuum Wave will not miss, right? Good, okay. I'm probably gonna swap on the next one here. We're gonna get level 11, dude. Hono is leveling up so quickly. They're very quickly catching up to the rest of the team here. Take that, Marilyn. <laughs> Named after a state. Wait, is Marilyn a state? Yes. Is it? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, potion. We're gonna use that. Wait, isn't there a Pokemon Center, like, right down here? No, Mary Land. You're right. Not Marilyn. Marilyn's a name. My bad. I, I forgot about that. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna see if I can swap here, because I'm not gonna try to run away as this. Mary Land. That's the one. I've actually been to Maryland, I think. Guys, what, is, what are some big cities in Maryland? Because I'm pretty sure I've been there. I might recognize the city name. Yo, know, Sand Slash is awesome. Wow, almost got him. Baltimore, that... Yeah, I've been there. I've been to Baltimore, yep. Oh, 69 experience for each of them. Whoa, LaChandra, what's wrong with Baltimore? Okay, I see a couple of items, but I want to get to the Pokemon Center as soon as possible. I'm like at the point where I'm tempted to swap Hono to the back just because I don't want them to randomly die to something. But I'm thinking as long as I'm sneaky... You pooping butt poop! I found some good Pokemon on the grass! Great guy. It's a very nice sneak. I think if you run, they automatically turn towards you. Oh, great. Fantastic, dude. Uh, we're gonna go to... <sighs> I would love to use Sacred Fire, but I don't want to die. Maybe I should just use Sacred Fire. Do I have any potions? I'm just gonna use my potion, guys. You missed a ball. I know, guys. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go get the balls. I really would like to get Sacred Fire on this dude. Because that would be amazing. If I can get that burn on him... Oof. Conversion. Oh, he's the Psychic type now. Well, Sacred Fire, it, still okay, I guess. And I missed! Fantastic! Sweet scent, oh no! Spinners auto-spin if you run right, right. There we go. Uh, Shuckle is normally Bug Rock, I think, or maybe it's just Pure Bug, I can't remember. Charge Beam. Charge Beam! He's got low attack though, right? Huh. Huh! Huh! <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. You have to go. Oh, take care, Ratso. Okay, so on Mr. Donut, Mr. Donut Girl, we can just go for... Honestly, we can go for some spatial rend. We'll be fine. What's a good name for a Bailey? Um... Hmm. Guys, give some, give some nickname ideas for Bailey. 
How does a rock turtle smell sweet? I don't know, dude. <laughs> Name it Salad. What did you call your Chikorita? I was very creative, so I named my Chikorita. I named them Rita. Base, <laughs> Bay Salad. Baywatch. Let's see. Level 12. So six more levels to go and we can get that uh, Hono to evolve there. Okay, I believe there's a Pokemon Center. Yes, good. Oh, but this guy wants to sell me a candy bar, doesn't he? Well, I guess we'll just ignore him. Let's go heal. Steve from Minecraft. So guys, I did some math. I saw, aside from these streams, I'm also doing a stream project to beat all of the Nintendo Switch games that were released in 2017. And there's 285 games, not counting arcade ports. I kind of ignore those. Um, but aside from that, there's 285 games. I went through howlongtobeat.com. It kind of shows you how long people have taken to go through those games. I went through there. Also, thank you for the Vitrin. Uh, I went through there, and I also just kind of estimated a few games that didn't have times in there, just based on what genre they were and stuff like that. And I found that it would take approximately 5,700 hours to 100% all of the games on the Switch in 2017. So if I were to stream that six hours a day, four days a week, or five days a week even, that would take me approximately four years. However, that that is if you go for 100%. So a game like ARMS, for example, with ARMS, there's a lot of crud to collect. If you just want to like beat the story mode, it takes like an hour or two. If you want to collect everything, it takes like 100 hours or more. Um, another game is like Binding, Binding of Isaac, right? Like, if you count beating the game as just, like, completing a run and hitting the credits, you can do that crud in an hour. If you want to go for real Platinum God, that crud's going to take you, like, 200 hours. So, that's if you 100% everything. I feel like if you did not 100% everything, it'd probably be more like 1,500 to 2,000 hours, which is still a lot, but that's more like a one to one to two year project instead of a four year project. Someone said to give the Miracle Seed to Hono, which I think is actually a pretty good idea. Did I miss a ball up here as well? Yes, I did! I can't leave these balls behind, guys. No ball gets left behind. Especially not... Especially? Especially not Magmarizer. Does that, like, turn Magmar into poop? It pulverizes him? Don't get all the experience? Uh, don't run get all the experience. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Miracle Seed the bird. I will, I will. Magmar into poop. Gen 69 leaks. It makes Magmar evolve into Pelistorm. Okay. How far are we into this, lads? We're on... Uh, we're heading towards the second gym right here. Okay, I'm gonna take another sip of water, guys. Let's go and heal up real quick, and then we'll enter the cave! I forget what the cave is called. I'm gonna call it the Cave of Me Kill. Uh, what Switch games do you recommend? What's up, Lord? So, I actually have a spreadsheet that has all of the games that I've beaten, ranked from my favorite to least favorite, so basically the stuff at near the top I recommend. Let me see if I can go get that spreadsheet for you. Okay. Actually, I wonder if anyone else has the spreadsheet so I don't have to like interrupt the stream, but... It's out there somewhere. No, Cubix Paint is my least favorite Nintendo Switch game so far. Have you been to Flavortown? Uh, <laughs> no, no I haven't. What's your opinion on Let's Go? Dude, I'm, I'm excited for those. Okay, Knight's got the, the spreadsheet right there. So on that spreadsheet, if you go to the bottom, there's the tab called Games Ranked. Click on that one, it'll have all the games ranked from my favorite to least favorite. And basically the stuff near the top of that um, is stuff that I... Well, stuff I recommend, but keep in mind that I personally really like platformers and I really like JRPGs. So 
I do have a few of those near the top. If you don't like platformers, you know, you can skip over the platformers. Like, you've got Mario Odyssey near the top, you've got Celeste, The End is Nigh, uh, Meat Boy, a lot of those are near the top. Uh, if you don't like that kind of game, you know, just, just skip over that part. This looks like a battle for Lily Pants, if only. Did I wish we still had Lily Pants? If we find Lily Pants again, do we have to automatically add her to the team? Do you ever just dead? I do sometimes Star Ravia. Let's go... Let's do some more swap training here. Give Mirrors Cool Seed to the bird. Do I... I keep forgetting. I will do it. Actually, Hono can deal with this themselves because Star Ravia is only level 6. Man, what is the accu- Whoa, okay. I'm gonna swap then. Please live, please live. Thank you. Thank you very much for living. Okay, we're gonna get back out of here. Oh no! So, wait, what is the accuracy on Sacred Fire? Because I miss a lot with that crud. Uh, what is the two by my name? Oh, that means you're the person who's donated, or tipped, or whatever you want to call it, g given me the second highest number of bits on the bit leaderboard here, number two. Hono is level 13. There you go. Wants to learn Sleep Powder. Um, I don't know if I want that. They've already got a pretty good moveset. What do you guys think? Should we do Sleep Powder over Tickle? I mean, Sleep Powder would be fantastic for catching stuff. Sacred Fire is 95 accuracy. Yeah, let's get that in place of Tickle. Yeah, that'll be really good for catching Pokemon. Sceptile's coming out right here. Um, Sceptile does not have Arena Trap, right? Because I, I gotta be careful about that. I don't want to send Pidgey out and then get them killed because they can't swap back out. I'm pretty sure that he does not have Arena Trap or anything like that. Pokemon Logic, 95 accuracy equals 50%. Yeah, that's how it feels, man. Isn't Sleep Powder 100%? I think it's Spore that's 100. You don't have potions? Uh, Sceptile does not get Arena Trap. Okay, we're good. So I'm going to swap and then swap back out. Uh, 75% on Sleep Powder. Gotcha. Um, I guess we could go to Harley because they have Ice Beam, but if they have a Grass Attack, I'm going to get swamped. So once again, we'll just go back to Mr. Donut Girl here. Aren't moves randomized? Yeah, um, I forgot to randomize abilities though, so the abilities are actually not randomized, but all of the attacks are. And thankfully we did not go to my Poliwrath, or Poliwhirl, because he had Mega Drain. He has Ice Queen? No, he has Ice uh, Beam. Poison Fang? Uh, did you play Pokemon Quest? I did! I actually beat it. Um, it's a fun little game. It's not one of my favorites. I didn't love it, but, you know, it, it was an alright game, and I had a good time with it. After I beat Mewtwo, I didn't really play anymore after that, so there's a lot. There's a little bit of post-game, which I didn't do, and I, I didn't complete the Pokedex or anything. Uh, gosh darn it, Joey, calling me? You can't just call me like this, man. Howdy. It's Joey. How are you? Oh yeah, I saw a wild Roselia. I thought about going for it, but then I failed. Of course you did, Joey. Oh well, I guess that's just the way it goes. I'm not very good at catching Pokemon. You said that right. Pure Power Kangaskhan is my mom. Dude, Pure Power Kangaskhan was so ridiculously good. Unfortunately, we will not have anything quite like that in this run because we forgot to randomize abilities, so... What actually gets pure power? I'm guessing it's something that's not very good on its own. And then pure power kind of makes up for it. Let's see. I think it's time, guys. Let's go into the cave. We've got 24 Pokeballs. Let's go see what we can catch in Onion Cave. Here we go. You think it's going to be Metacham? I think it's going to be a Rapidash. Okay, that is not Rapidash at all, but it is Victory Bell. Okay. Hmm. Do I want Victory Bell? I guess I do, just to have, but it can't evolve. I mean, Victory Bell's pretty alright on its own. Um. I guess I can Sleep Powder it, Vacuum Wave it, I don't know. 
I missed Thunderfang. Of course it has Thunderfang. Oh, but I really want it to sleep. Okay, I'm going to try one more time for Sleep Powder. Fantastic. Oh, fantastic. Let me guess. I'm totally dead. Because this thing has an entirely electric type moveset, doesn't it? Okay, we're going to get out of here. Gosh dang it, man. Why does he have an entire electric moveset? Um, we're going to go to Mr. Donut. Okay, guys, what is the catch rate? What is the catch rate of Victory Bell? So we can't put it to sleep. Follow me. I feel like I've made jokes about that being like a promotion for their Twitter before, so uh, I'm not going to retread old ground, guys. Uh, what is Joy Ilu holding? They're holding um, an oval stone. Have you played Sonic Mania? Not yet. Fantastic! Why did I spatial render level 5? What's wrong with me? Oh my gosh. Well, guys. It dead. Mr. Donut Girl wants to learn Flame Wheel. I don't think I want that. I mean... I don't think I want that. I think my moveset's pretty okay. I mean, it's better than Payday, technically, but Payday is also a source of money. So I think I'm gonna skip that. Give up on Flame Wheel. Okay, guys, let's go heal back up because my Pidgey is not doing so good. Does anyone know what is the worst thing that Pidgey could possibly evolve into? Because I know the obvious answer is like Magikarp, but Magikarp can evolve into something else. So Magikarp is not that big of a deal, but what would be the worst thing it could be? Love Disk, that's probably it. Or Unknown, yeah, Unknown is probably it, yeah. Or maybe like a Deli Bird or a Corsola. A Corsola can be okay with the right moveset. Do you have a wife? Heck yeah, I do. Oh, ditto. That'd be pretty rough as well. Although with ditto, it could very easily breed with Blissey. I don't even know where the breeding happens in this game. I think it's before Goldenrod, right? Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at those nips, dude. Nuzleaf for the Nuzlocke. I don't know why, but I'm fairly certain that Nuzlocke, the challenge, is named after Nuzleaf. I just, I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, no balls left behind. A wee pair. We pair, bro. <laughs> Back into Onion Cave. Let's go. Wow. I just realized Machamp has forearms on his forearms. Think about that. Have you ever read the Nuzlocke comic? No, I haven't. You found the rock? Well, I'm about to find... Uh... This guy? <laughs> Give it a whirl. Please stop sprinting. I like sprinting, though. It's quick. Okay, Chef Cammy got a Garchomp right here. So we've got Ice Beam over on Harley. So let's go use that. Oh, no. Switch it out. This guy's got a level 11 right here. He's got Chatter. Uh-oh, guys. He's one of you! Let's go for Ice Beam here. Uh, did you play Skyrim? Not yet. Not yet. And we got him one shot. Take that, Gorchwomp. 256 experience. That is the number of Pokemon that... Uh, never mind. We've got level 14 on Hono now, so they're caught up, but... Well, they're mostly caught up, but still four more levels to go to get them to evolve there. Oh my... Geodude? Isn't Geodude a Pokemon that can actually normally appear in this cave? What are you doing here in Onion Cave, Geodude? Man, this game's annoying. It makes you not sprint everywhere. Wait. Fight me, bro! It evolves in four levels, actually? Heck yeah! You're headed to Azalea. Yeah! You know, this is crazy, guys. So, I'm sure a lot of you noticed that all of the towns in Generation 1 were named after colors, of course. Except for Palette, but, you know, it's a palette of colors, whatever. 
Um, let's go for a seed player here. But Generation 2 is also named after all colors, except they also have an extra word in there. And Generation 3 is all named after plants. Okay, Chatot coming out. Let's go. I'm going to stay in and then swap over to Harley for that Ice Beam. Is Ruby a plant? I don't know, man. I never realized that Pewter was a color. Yeah, it's weird. I think it's like a gray. Something like that. How often do you stream? What's up, Afonso? I actually stream Monday through Friday. I stream five times a week. So the Nuzlocke is every Friday, but Monday through Thursday, I, I'm doing a challenge to beat every Nintendo Switch game that was released in 2017, so I mostly stream random Nintendo Switch games. Although, I am also trying to get the world record in the speedrun for Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. So next week I'll be streaming that, and I'll be streaming that until I get it. Oh, gosh dang it! Regirock. Um... Okay. I could go use Seed Flare on Hono, but if he has an actual rock attack and I don't kill him, then I am going to die. Uh... Let's go... Do I risk it? I think I, I think I risk it. I could also go to Mr. Donut Girl and just use a fighting attack. In before it has explosion. Well, if it's going to explode, I would rather it explode on Hono than Mr. Donut Girl. Um, we're gonna go use Seed Flare, guys. Or, or I could just swap out. Assuming he does not have Arena Trap or something. Just close combat him. I could do that. Level 8. That is pretty scary. Okay, we're gonna swap. No explosion. No. Counter. Oh boy. Oh boy, counter is scary. Wait, hold on, guys. Hold on. Is Spatial Rend a special type? I might want to use that. If he's gonna try to counter me, I don't think I want to risk Focus Blast on that guy. Uh, who did you main in Street Fighter 4? I mained in Vanilla, I played as Rufus, and then in Super, I played Kami. And um, after that, I switched to T-Hawk, and he was kind of who I played. Focus Blast is also special. Oh. Okay, let's just use that then. Then let's go for that, see if we can get that one shot. Alright. Let's see how much experience we get for that one, dude. 186 on two Pokemon. Pretty good. Take that, Chef Dudley. Oh, oh. I'm not sure if he was upset or if he was uh, practicing his pop song. Why can Azelf learn explosion? I don't know, man. Let's just go fight this guy. He's got like a Psycrud on his head. Except it's a yellow Psycrud. Okay. Preschooler Donna sending out. Oh, guys, we are so dead. Am I gonna have to swap out? You know what? I'm gonna risk it, guys. I know this is crazy, but I am going to risk it and try to kill this with. Uh... How do I keep missing? Are you guys tricking me? Is it really not 95% accuracy? Because I feel like I've missed it more than I've hit that thing. There's no way it's 95. Okay. Sacred Fire. Die, monster. We did it, guys. You can check it for yourself. Okay, I, I will. Oh, no. Ditto? Um, we're going to keep battling. His moveset's going to be randomized, which means he's not even going to be able to transform. Here we go. We're doing better now. Oh, is it 75%? That makes more sense. Someone said it was 95. But if it's like 70 or 75, that sounds more reasonable as, as to why I'm missing so much. Okay, let's go check out... Uh, let's go check out Sacred Fire. I just got to end the mystery, guys. How much accuracy does it have? No, it is 95. Now, does 95 mean 95% or does that mean something else? Put Miracle Seed on. We could do that. Uh, let's see. Let's go to our items. Give to Hono. Let's go. I told you 50%. Oh, guys, why do I feel like this item's going to be really good? Let's just find out. It's a dubious disc! I don't I don't know what's on there, man. 
95% unless the game doesn't like you, then it's 25%? Gotcha. Isn't that for Porygon? Oh, I don't know, man. You know what? I know this thing has electric attacks, so I'm going to run. I thought about killing it for the experience, but electric attacks are scary. I roam far and wide in search of Pokemon. You can just, like, take a couple steps back and forth. It usually works for me. My friend's name on Snapchat is No No Hono. What? All right, we've got Swimmer Boy Crystal with Chingling. Okay. Let's go for a little bit of Sacred. F yeah, we'll go for that. Uh, go back up. There was a ball. Oh, guys, no balls left behind. We have to go back now. Oh, you want to taunt me? I fell for the taunt. What does that even mean? Lack of PP. That is a real problem. Hopefully we can get another, uh, another PP max. Also, what's up, Master Gamer? 16! Alright, guys. Two more levels and we get to see what Hono turns into. Ugh! My poor Pokemon! Um, someone said there was a ball. Did I get trolled? Or is there truly... Wait, over here. Over here, yeah! Over, yeah! Let's get that ball! We got... The worst item you can possibly get in a Nuzlocke. A revive. Okay, to be fair, we can at least sell it. But we can't, we're not allowed to use revives. So that's basically useless. It, it's free money, sure. That, that's true. Ooh, more balls! Y you know what, guys? I saw a little spot. Like, a little bit of a dead end, and... Here's the thing, whenever there's a dead end, my, my hidden item senses are tingling, so I'm gonna go check, because I've got a good feeling that there's gonna be a hidden item down here, and I want it. Right here. How could there not be a hidden item? Oh, come on, game! Now, don't talk to Pidgey. Is standing guard. Well, I wish he'd get out of my way. Nope. Guys, there's no, no hidden item. I got bamboozled. What's up, Zerkor? Unfortunately, we can't do Surf quite yet. Shark Week is soon. I thought Shark Week was already going on. <gasps> oh! Oh! Guys! The Togepi egg is gonna hatch. Okay, guys, place your bets. What do you think Togepi is going to be? I think that it's going to be... a Soul Rock. Let's go. It is... Uh, oh, it's a, <laughs> oh, okay, okay, it's Slugma, right, oh gosh, it's gonna be a level one Slugma, there's no way I can use this, man, okay, what do we name it, we can name it, I'm trying to think of a name we can do with just the letters of his name, oh, uh, we can name him, gosh, Slugma's kind of a hard, name to work with. How can we scramble Slugma? We could do Swagma. Magma Butt. That's a good one. Uh, he's got like the, the goopy balls hanging from his mouth. You know what I'm talking about? He's got like the goop. So maybe we can call him like... Uh... <laughs> Should we call him Goopy Balls? Goober? Goober's not bad. <laughs> Guzma. You could almost do Guzma with his name. Alright, guys. This is the perfect name. Goopy Balls. No, not Goopy Ball. It's got multiple of them, dude. And let's see what this ball is. We've got an Enigma Berry. That sounds important. Don't stop talking to me. Oh, <laughs> oh. Keeping close to your feet. Ew. Gross, dude. I mean, it's hard for him not to keep close to my feet. He is kind of short. But we are on a new route, guys, which means we can catch something. Let's go see what we got here. I sure hope it's a... Good? What do we got, guys? It's going to be... A Gastly. Okay. I think that's something that's actually reasonable to catch for a change. That's a very rare berry. Awesome. Let's go for... Sleep powder. Wow, it actually worked, guys. So we put him to sleep. 
And I think what I want to do is just start chucking balls. I could damage him, but I'd have to swap to another Pokemon, I think. Because, uh, yeah, Hono's gotten so strong that I don't think we can actually fight them without just dying. So let's go for the Premier Ball first, guys. Here we go. Name it Fart. Come on. So easy, guys. First try. Pop him to sleep. And catch him. Okay, so this name needs to tell a story, guys. This can't just be a name. It's gotta tell a story. Its body is made of gas. Despite looking... Despite lacking substance, it can envelope an opponent of any size and cause suffocation. So, the story of this Pokemon, we found it, used the sleep powder, caught it, and then it's gonna go into a box. Rick Gasoline. It's too obvious, guys. We gotta... We gotta... We gotta, uh, make our own unique names. Just in time for Rick, Rick Gasly. Oh, jeez. Okay. We can name it Envelope, that's true. Hmm. How can we make this ghostly? Guys, transform the word Envelope into something kind of spooky and ghosty, guys. That's what we gotta do. I'm not going to name them Roblox. <laughs> and the ghost? Name it Toot. Ghostalope? Evilope? Oh, jeez. Guys, I love it. I love it. Whoever posted this one in the chat, that is the best name I've ever seen. Imagine this, guys. You get an envelope. You open it up, and it's a fart! Someone sent you a fart in the mail, guys. It's a tootvelope. Okay, with that, let's go grab some pink things. Got a pink apricorn. I don't even know if I'm gonna bother using these. Because to, to use these, you have to wait like a day, right? A boxed fart, basically. There you go, yeah. I think this guy's an actual trainer, so let's go try to fight him. Oh, look at me. There you go. What did I miss? Any deaths? Um, not really. I did kill a victory bell that I could have caught, but in terms of stuff on my actual team, nothing nothing has died. And we actually caught a Blissey. We're about to fight Chef Antoinette here with a Beautifly. Honestly, guys, I know Beautifly is meant to be all beautiful and crud, but... I think that, I think that, uh, Butterfree is much, much more beautiful. Also, Beautifly, if you look at them, dude, it looks like they're meant to have legs and arms, but it's like their legs and arms got cut off or something gruesome. It just creeps me out, dude. Look at it. Like, Im imagine looking at Beautifly without the wings. It's just weird. Okay, we got one Sacred Fire. Also, Jesse, thank you so much for the bits. Almost got him. Oh, we got the burn as well. Noise. Just kill it. I'm trying. Okay, let's go for the vacuum wave. It's not going to be very effective, but they're almost dead. It still didn't kill them. Wow. That's okay. They're going to go for charm. Oh, that's probably why it did so little, because they lowered my attack there. I can't remember if vacuum wave was a special attack or a physical. Either way, they're going to die from the burn here. Oh, uh, lowered each other's attack stats. Okay, 379 experience. Out comes Primeape. We're going to stay in for now. I think I'll, I'm going to have to use some Seed Flare, though. Because, yeah, I'm out of Sacred Fire. I'm going to try to put him to sleep real quick. Oh, Sweet Scent. That is terrifying. Dude, Sweet Scent would be the best move ever for Tootvelope. And it didn't work. Karada. I'm gonna try again here. Aphtimus Prime. Oh, he goes for Yawn. Oh, he's got Vital Spirit. I forgot about that, crud. Okay, we're gonna get out of here, guys. And we're going to go to... I guess... We're gonna go to Harley. Amazon Primeape. 
So if we get Hypno, we call it Highness? What? Okay, we're gonna go for Ice Beam. Dude, Ice Beam is just such a great attack. In modern Pokemon, is Ice Beam still the go-to Ice Attack, or is there something else that's like the top-tier Ice Attack now? Also, that could hurt a lot. That hurt a lot. That's scary. Oh, jeez. We're gonna go back to Mr. Donut Girl. Now, I know Mr. Donut Girl is weak to fighting, but I don't think he has any fighting attacks. Okay, we're gonna go for... Spatial Rend, and I think we're gonna kill him right here. We do go first, which is awesome. Yeah, this Prime is kind of scary, man. I mean, Prime does have great attack, but that Sky Attack really hurt. We got that critical, though. Down they go. Hono getting some experience. Harley getting some experience. Harley level 16. Nice. Take that, Chef Antoinette. Okay, guys, I think that we are done. Oh, gosh, he wants my phone number, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. I remember back in uh, Gen 2, Pokemon Crystal and all that, in those games, you had to actually talk to them afterwards. Like, if you wanted the phone number, you had to talk to them to get it. There might have been some that offered it, but most of them you had to talk first. Who are you? You don't know us. Wait, guys. If Team Plasma was Doritos, does that mean that whenever Team Rocket shows up, you have to post pictures of waffles? Hmm. Or maybe... Maybe tacos. No, it's not Dorito time, man. Dorito is Team Plasma. We need to figure out what Team Rocket is. <laughs> no, nah, the cookies. Yeah, guys, we'll be doing some crud art once we get to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> the bottle of soda. Alright, guys, let's go and... Let's go see if we can heal up and do some stinking crud art, man. Yeah! Team Cheese. Wait, guys, is the cheese emote... Is that a global emote? Oh, Stinky Cheese, guys. Yeah. Okay, guys, I think Team Rocket... Oh, guys, okay. Is Team Rocket the jack-in-the-box head? Or is Team Rocket the spaghetti? Or is Team Rocket... The cheese? What do you guys think? Cheese, spaghetti... Or whatever the other thing was. Doritos tacos, what? Okay, it's gotta be the cheese, guys. So Team Rocket is the stinky cheese. Alright, guys, let's go do some gosh dang crud art. Yeah! Let's go see how much we have here, actually. Uh, let's go to here. Hashtag crud art. Okay, guys, we've got quite a bit, so buckle in. We're going to be taking a look at some crud art right here. Let me go ahead and close a couple things, just like that. i got to figure out where last time ended and this time began. Uh, here we go, okay. So just give me a minute, guys. I kind of have to, like, open each one, each picture individually and crud like that. So it takes a couple minutes just to get things set up here, but... This one is actually a video. You know what? The image is safe right now. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this. <laughs> I got the video of someone smashing their head on the B button. <laughs> That's awesome. That could totally just be turned into like a gift, dude. Dude, someone sent me a picture of a waffle. Maybe, just maybe, Team Rocket is waffles. But the thing is, I don't know if there's actually a, a waffle emote. Oh, someone sent two pictures. I don't even know you could do that. Okay, I've got a, a good handful of things opened up. Let me see if they're all safe. Good, good, good. The reason I have to check is sometimes people like to troll and try to sneak pictures of peepees in there. Oh, you could do a better Twitch TV gift for your channel. That'd be awesome. All right, guys, let's take a look at some crud art. We've got, first off here, got a gosh dang five Wiimote. That's five B button presses, guys. That's efficiency. One B button per finger. It's awesome. Over here we've got taping the B button onto the uh, the PlayStation, so pressing the circle button, but it's actually a B button, guys. It's awesome. 
What the crud? Why do you have five DS's? What the? I'm guessing it's like DS Lite, DSi, DSi XL, 3DS, new, something like that, right? That's a lot, man. Over here, look at this, guys. Pressing the waffles. Also a giant pair of scissors. What is that on the waffles? Is that syrup or is that peanut butter? It might be both, actually. Look at this, guys. But Junior 2, also pressing the B button. Um, it's Poliwhirl. Is he riding a bicycle? Or is he lifting weights? I think it's a bike. That's awesome. And here we've got Mr. Donut Girl. Heck yeah, dude. And over here we've got <laughs> pressing the B button into the garbage can. Did they, like, go to their garbage can, see a B button in there, they pressed it? Or did they put the B button? Did they have this box already, then they put it in the garbage, then they took the picture? Or did they just open their garbage can and see it? That's my question. What's what's the story behind that one? Oh, it's a Harley. Right, duh. I don't know how I, how I missed that. Dude, we've got some sassy looking Umbreons coming up here. Okay, let me get a whole another round of stuff opened here. It's not going to be quite as many as the end of last stream, guys. Last stream ended with like 80 pictures. I think this one's got like 40 or 50, so... It's not quite that extreme, but it's a nice little break. It's a nice little break from the action. We'll look at some art, and then we'll get back to killing stuff. Now, what do we have to do left here in, uh... Well, this episode, really, because we just go until we get the, the badge. So I think we just have to deal with Team Rocket, get them out of the uh, Slowpoke well, and then we move on, right? And do the gym battle. So we're really not that far away. Okay, guys, all these pictures look safe, so let's go take a look here. First off, we got the sassiest looking Umbreon. Actually, I want you guys to judge, because this person sent in two different pictures of Mr. Donut Girl. So which one do you think is more sassy, this one or this one? Got number one or number two? Which one is the, the sassiest Umbreon? We've also got, look at all these B-Presses, man. I think that's three Wiimotes, a Joy-Con, a Xbox 360 controller, pressing the button on the DS down here with a foot, Wii U gamepad, and another, uh, this is the 3DS right here. That's crazy, man. Let's see, it's got four, five, six, seven, eight B-Buttons with one person. Dang. Got some heckin' donuts right here. <laughs> got the little top hat, dude. Let's see, let's check out this entire thing. We got Togathic presses the B button. Uh-oh, this is the exact time butt died. They actually looked at the time butt died and put it on the clock. That's so sad, dude. My butt! <laughs> That's so sad. Oh man, they put the B button on the joystick. <laughs> Look at him, dude. It's Harley riding a Harley. It's actually like the old Harley turned into a Harley and then Harley riding it, dude. So for those who didn't see the first episode, my Poliwhirl evolved from a Cricketot. So this is both of them in one here. There's a hand. There's a B button. You gotta press that crud. Okay, that is a lot of hands. We've got the uh, multiple generations. NES, Super Nintendo, N64, GameCube, and the Wii. No Wii U or Switch, so we got five generations here, but not all seven. We've also got the 3DS right there and the keyboard. Gosh dang. Look at this, guys. Look at all this Play-Doh. Yo, this is so satisfying. It, it's so satisfying. If you, like, go get some old Play-Doh and you open it up and it's still soft. Like, I hate when you get Play-Doh and it's all hard and crud, but when you open up some Play-Doh that you haven't had for a while and it's, like, still usable, it's awesome. I think you can, like, fix kind of dried up Play-Doh by, like, uh, slowly working some water into it. So that's an option, but it's not quite the same. It's just like opening up a pack of Play-Doh and be like, ah, it's nice. I remember when I was a kid, I always went out of my way to never mix my Play-Doh colors. I know some people would just like mix them like, you know, it's not a big deal or whatever, but I would never mix my Play-Doh colors. I would just pick one color and I would just sculpt out of that crud. I guess my reasoning why is basically that Mixing it together is very easy, but you can't really unmix it very well. I mean, if, you, if you're very careful with how you put it on, you can separate it, but... Um, for the most part, you're probably not going to get it back, back separated. 
Oh my gosh, guys. I am really excited about this and also a little bit terrified, but we'll get to that. We'll save that one for last. Let's go back to the beginning, guys. First off, look at the giant Toblerone. I don't even know where you buy a giant Toblerone, guys, but it's there. <laughs> Here we've got, oh man, we got some Overwatch. I don't know why they just sent me a picture of Overwatch, but my main character right there, I love I love Torbjorn. I mean, I, I mostly play Zenyatta because Torbjorn's not very good, but Torbjorn's my favorite character. <laughs> Guys, got some Full Metal Alchemist right here. He's trying to resurrect <laughs> Butt Jr. That's so, so stupid, man. Look at this, guys. Amiibos formed into a giant bee, and we've got the Pokemon Perlers pressing that bee. That's awesome. There's Charizard down there. There's the Yoshi. That's my dude. I love Yoshi. There's Jigglypuff. Let's see. Here we go, guys. Important hat. Yes. Here we've got... we got the whole team. we got Pinsir. We've got Umbreon. We've got Harley. Togethic. We've got the two eggs. So the eggs turned out to be Dodrio and Slugma. Oh, gosh dang it. Anthony, you can't just call me like this, man. I'm trying to do some crud art. Sup? Guys, does anyone still say sup? I remember back in the day, a friend of mine introduced me to the Sega Dreamcast with Fantasy Star Online, and I remember he got online, and he walked up to a dude, and he said, sup. And I was like, yo, that's so cool. This was like 1998 or 1999, something like that. This is Anthony, how are you? Or when, when was Fantasy Star Online? Maybe, I don't know if it was 99 or if it was 2000. I was battling this ghastly the other day. It took off when I got distracted by a passing beauty. Learn from my mistake. Always stay focused on the job at hand. All right then, be good. Jeez. No, don't call mom. Don't call mom. Hello? Oh, hi, what, hey, working hard? No, mom. Don't talk about the slow pokes, man. No, don't save my money, mom. Okay, guys, let's get out of here. Let's go back to some crud art here. So here is... Here's the team. We got pressing that B button. He drew the B button. I think that's like a Nintendo 64 style B button. Over here we've got Dodrio hatching from the egg. I think my favorite is this one. He looks kind of sad and a little bit sleepy, but he's still really cute. Rip Wahey 13. I don't know what that says. Something about shoes, though. It's so cute. Look at this, guys. Got the B button here. Got the B button here and the B button here. Three B buttons. Dang. But guys, what kind of what kind of ring is this? I've actually seen YouTube channels of people that make like crazy rings out of like uh, Damascus and all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm not really a ring collector kind of guy, but those are some cool looking rings, dude. But this is the exciting one, guys. Look at this. He's pressing the B on Butts Road. <laughs> Butts Road, guys. The reason I said I was terrified is I hope they are not currently driving while they do this. <laughs> Please do not get into any accidents. But that's so amazing, dude. Butts Road exists. And they press the B button on it. Okay, I gotta open up. I think this is just one picture. Gotta open up uh, all of these things. I think someone sent like a a collage of like all of the different B button presses that he did during Pokemon Black, and he stuck them all into one image. Okay, I think this might be the second to last round, or maybe even the last round. Now, everything that came in after I started. Uh, this round will be saved for the end. Now we still got quite a bit to more, quite a bit more to go, so we'll probably have two more rounds here. Let me just make sure this is all safe. Look in, good. Okay. Looking good. Good, good, good. <laughs> Some of these pictures are confusing. All right, guys. First off. Got the B button press on the... It looks like a 2DS, right? I've actually never held the 2DS, guys. Are they actually comfortable? Because to me, like, just looking at a 2DS, it looks really uncomfortable. But 
Um, a lot of people play with them, so maybe it's not so bad. Here we've got Sploing. Bouncing out of those eggs, dude. But yeah, this is the compilation of different bee presses he did last time. Complete with bee movie memes. But look at all these bee presses, man. So I think this is all from Pokemon Black. Including the B button on the bagel right here. We got more Sploing. Here we've got some Hono. <laughs> His tongue looks kind of like a heart. Here we've got the National Geographic Answer Book. Dang. Now, I, 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 I feel kind of mean calling people out sometimes, but look at that, dude. There's another B. But still, amazing to hit the B there, but... You gotta, you guys gotta examine, examine your options, you know, find all those B buttons, because there's one right there, too. Guys, the person who sent me this tweeted that it should have been UWU, like a UWU, instead of OWO. So guys, I gotta ask, who is the ultimate winner? Who, what do you think is better? UWO or UWU? Which, which one's better, guys? I'm on team UWO. <laughs> got a heart gold version, except it's actually Hono. Yeah. We've got... Whoa. Okay, we've got two 360 controllers. We've got... Looks like a Sega Genesis right there. And the keyboard. That's a beautiful keyboard. I think that might be the same keyboard I have, actually. Looks like a... I have a Corsair K70. I think that's the same one. Um, but also, he's got, like, the color-changing thing right here. He's probably got, like, an LED strip that has color-changing. Maybe inside of his computer, maybe just on his desk or something. But I don't know what he's pressing, but he might be pressing, like, the blue button or something. I'm not sure, so maybe that stands for B. So, so this is what I'm confused by. Why the crud did someone send me a picture of peanut butter was with a banana in it? Oh! Oh, I see. There's a B right there. Okay, he's pressing the B on the butter. Got it. I was so confused, but yeah, no, there's a B right there. Got it, guys. And the last one here is on the... looks like a new 3DS, actually, right? I, I've never actually seen a new 3DS in person, but I think when they have the colored buttons, I think that means new 3DS, right? So got the V button there too. Just done something now. Yeah, if you guys just sent it very recently, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save that for the next round. I'm just gonna finish off what we already have opened up here. I think we've got one more round for this time, and then we'll come back in a bit. And we'll do the rest after the uh, after the gym. Because, as you can see, we've got we got a lot of crud art, guys. I think this might be the year with the most crud art. I feel like it was never quite this much in the past years. So I feel like this is the, the largest amount of crud art we've ever had. And I'm definitely down for it, man. Crud art's like my favorite part. I, I just do worry that if we just do too much all at once that, you know, some people will be like, okay, when's it going to end? All right, guys, this is the final round. Let me just make sure these are all safe. Also, Asayan, thank you for all the bits, dude. Okay, let me just make sure these are all safe. And we'll check out the final round of Crud Art for, for this time. Until we beat the gym. After we beat the gym, we'll check out the rest. <laughs> okay, guys. Here we go. So first off, we've got a super cute, super cute Blissey right there. And it's got the woo on the face down here. Or on the, uh, on the egg down there. Super cute. We've also got Harley with the other Harley inside of him. Whoa. We've got some Pidgey action right here. I'm not sure what this, if this pattern is meant to be anything or if it just kind of looks cool. Either way, I like it, dude. Here we've got... Um, uh, anyways, we've got a we've got Mr. Donut Girl with Hono on him. By the way, I love your vid psycho. Oh, whoa! See, guys, this guy is on team. Oh, whoa! from Spaghetti42069, <laughs> of course. But I'm glad you enjoyed the video, so thank you for the crud art. It's super cute. Okay, we've got we've got Pidgey. We've got Pidgey right here. It feels weird, man, because like all of the URLs, I'm not sure if I can show you guys the URLs, but here we go. No, I can't, but hold on. All of the URLs have this in it, like all of them. I'm not sure if that means anything, Anyways, we got the flaming Hono right here. Sacred fire. <laughs> We've got... Whoa, joy! Look at all those B buttons, man. He's got the uh, Wii Classic controller, I think that is. Joy-Con. He's pressing the Joy-Con, which is also pressing the B button on the Switch Pro controller. 
three Wii, uh, Wiimotes right here. He's got the NES and the Super NES, kind of doing the combo press right there, and the 3DS over here. Also, um, I don't, actually that might be a, I think that's a 3DS. Anyways, he's got the Switch power cable right here. Not being plugged in though, but that's okay, man. Lots of V-presses. Also, whoa, what's this? Looks like you painted this one with a spray can. That's awesome. Also, Onion Cave. <laughs> so many onions. Is there an onion Pokemon? Also, we've got, oh no. It almost looks more like Fletchling, but I love it. We've also got Tato Potato. <laughs> I don't know why he's got the legs, man. Why does Pidgey got the legs? And all right, guys, the final one is someone pressing the B button that they added to their PlayStation controller. And they also wrote butt. Heck yeah. Anyways, guys, with all of that credit out the way, let's go ahead and heal up again. I, I think I already healed, but we'll heal again. And let's go get rid of Team Rocket and kill the gym leader. No onion Pokemon, but there is a garlic Pokemon. Really? Wait, who's the garlic Pokemon? Garlic Kid? Isn't Garlic Kid from Uranium? Okay, so with that down, um, okay, how do we deal with Team Rocket? I think we have to go see Kurt, right? Is it Kurt Angle? What is the opposite of an angle? You want me to make some balls? Yeah! Has anyone ever actually consumed a popcorn ball? I don't think I've ever eaten a popcorn ball before. Isn't Celebi the onion? Oh, is Celebi an onion? Okay. That makes sense. The opposite of an angle is a line. Oh, crud. So this guy's name is Kurt Line. All right, guys, let's go inside the well. Ooh. Ooh. No. Okay. okay, I thought that this was a giant Pokeball, but it's not. Anyways, let's go inside the well, guys. We need to kill a lot of cheeses. So many cheeses right now. Uh-oh, Slowpoke down there staring up at us, looking creepy. Come on, Kurt, let's go st kill some stinky cheese. Hey there, Wahey. He tumbled down the well. You know, guys, I gotta ask you about the physics of wells. How the crud do wells work? How do you, like, dig deep enough and then it's like suddenly there's water? That's so weird to me. And how did people figure wells out? Was at one point they were like, you know what, guys, let's just dig really deep and see what happens. And then there was water and they're like, hey, this is cool. Well, well, well. Hmm. I was standing guard up top when some old... Whoa. I'm not going to say that on my stream, dude. No way I'm saying that word. <laughs> Suddenly water. Well, well, well. Elite Trainer Marilyn. Okay. Oh, they've got a Zangoose. I think we can deal with that, though. Maybe if we just go for a little bit of Sacred Fire. We're gonna go for Howl. A little bit scary, but we'll be fine. Is it safe to drink well water without, like, filtering it? Like, can you just dip a bucket into the earth and pick it up and drink it? Okay, that almost killed him, so we'll go for Vacuum Wave now. Here we go, let's get that level 17! Guys, one more level. I know I'm kind of over-leveling Hono compared to the others, but I really want them to evolve. Icicle Spear? That's like a, uh... That's like a multi-hitting move, right? Oh gosh, two to five times. Even with five, it only does 50 power. That's awful. Man. I don't like that at all. I'm gonna not get it. Yeah, if it was like 25, I'm in there, but... And? No, thank you, man. Yeah, it's like a chance to do between 20 to 50 damage. Even with best RNG, it's still not very good. Um, unless you're like going for like a flinch tactic or something like that. Polywag coming in. We can go for Seed Flare here. Here we go. Oh, we missed. Iron Head. Please don't do very much. Good. Go for Seed Flare. High School Spear is amazing in later gens when it has 25. Yeah. Dude, didn't they make... Isn't there some move that has, like, 40 power or some crud? Maybe that's wrong. Maybe it's just 25. 
I know they made like pin missile or something really good. Okay, guys, let's go grab this ball. What could it be? A citrus berry. Wow. Just what I've always wanted. Let's go kill this stinky cheese as well, guys. Dragon Breath does only 40 damage. Uh oh. Alright, guys, I think this is the battle. If we get good Pokemon to kill here, we could get level 18. Elite Trainer Chloe with Talo. That is probably not going to be enough to level me up. But I'll still kill it anyways. Yeah, very nice. When you wait for the Nuzlocke livestream and Psycho doesn't see your crud art... Uh-oh. I'm sorry, you boy, but... I will be doing another round of crud art after the stream. Empoleon? That is gonna be... Oh, poop. Wait. I can't remember. Is Empoleon part ice? I always c confuse it because he's a penguin, but I'm pretty sure he's just water, right? In which case, I want to go for Seed Flare. Die, monster! Oh, water steel, so it's not super effective. Oh no, do not kill, do not kill! Ooh. Oh, critical hit! I'm alive, I am alive! I am getting the crud out of there! Oh no, that was scary, that was scary. One level before retirement, we almost lost it right there. I cannot believe we got a critical brave bird on me. Okay, stop your furry attack, man. Let's go for... Spatial Rend. This guy deserves it. I'm gonna have to go back and heal after this one, definitely. Okay, we got the critical. I think we'll still evolve after this one. Yes! There we go, guys. Almost lost it, but now we get to evolve. Moment of truth. What do we get to turn into? What did we put all this effort into? Please be something good. Please be something good. What? Here we go. Oh no! It's evolving. Uh, you know what? Considering we have Steed Flare, that's kind of decent, I guess. <laughs> Dude, we're just building up a team of cuties, man. We got Phil Awesome. That's so bad. I mean, it's not great, but honestly, for Seed Flare, we've got Seed Flare. It's it's decent. Let's get back at it. Hold on. Let me let me get them out of the front real quick. Just in case. I don't want them to die on the way back or anything. It's Lily Shorts. Lily Pants Jr. Okay, we're going to go up the little ramp right here. Let's go heal. Okay, so now that we know what we have, I'm gonna start training up some other Pokemon as well. I'm kind of nervous, guys. I want your opinions. Should we train up more Pokemon, or should we just focus on these three? Because I I always get worried about spreading our Pokemon too thin, and then we're just kind of underleveled. So should we try to catch up Blissey? Should we try to catch up Bronzor? Or should we just kind of leave it alone? Train all of them, focus on the three. Train one more. If we did one more, should we do Bronzor or should we do Blissey? Yeah, that is true. The more we train, the less impact it has if one of them dies. That's also true. Okay, let's at least train a Blissey. Because Blissey, I think, doesn't Blissey have a pretty good moveset? No, they've got Pedal Dance and uh, their moveset's not great. But maybe they'll learn something good. Who knows? I think the possibility of using Blissey to stall later on so that we can just like heal up a bunch, that could that could work. Cause I am not opposed to just item spamming. Now I I won't be using any revives, but guys, I am I will abuse the crud out of four restores. Got a Shuka berry. What the crud is it? Oh, like a cashew? I think we're gonna have to swap train for a good while here. Quit taking slowpoke tails. I missed the area art from gens 1 and 2. There is something really nice about, like, really simplistic art. Okay, we've got Jinx right here, so we're gonna instantly go over- Whoa! We're gonna instantly go over to... Well... Jinx is a special attacker. We could probably... Mm, we don't really have anything that can do any damage, though. That's the problem. 
Because to do damage with Joy, you kind of want like a probably toxic. Like what is what is a good move set for a for a Blissey? Yo, yeah, welcome to the stream, JJ. Let's go for Spatial Rend. What did you miss? Oh, potato! My Pidgey just evolved into a Blossom. Oh, Seismic Toss. Yeah, Toxic Protect Seismic Toss. So we'll have to hope we can get some of that. Okay, Joy's already level six. It's a good start. Oh gosh, Reggie Rock. Um. Who? I think I'm just gonna. I'll, I'll I'll swap train. I'll do it. The thing is, if we swap train, we're opening up the possibility of the music explosion, which is super scary. That could happen, man. Just any time we fight, uh, face one of these guys, they could just explode and then I just die. Explosion is extremely powerful. I'm not sure if it cuts through defense in this generation like it did in Gen 1 and 2. Oh, he uses Psychic. That's amazing. We're fine. We're fine, guys. I missed! He uses Counter. That's fine, too. So Focus Blast is a special attack, so even if he goes for Counter, we're fine. It should one-shot. It does, okay. So that will be level 16 for Mr. Donut Girl. Probably level 7 for Joy Will. Yep, there they go, level 7. Level 8 as well, wow. Any Pokemon can have Explosion, though. That's true, but I feel like a, a Pokemon like Regirock is probably going to hit harder with it. I could be wrong. Maybe Regirock's not that good at attacking, but... Um, so Piplup's coming out. Should I find out if Joy can deal with Piplup? We've got Petal Dance, so I think Joy might be able to do this. Is it ironic that Focus Blast doesn't have 100% accuracy? Maybe. I think we can do this. Bronzor looks like a hockey puck. Oh wow, we're gonna two-shot. Roleplay? Oh no. Dude, people try to say that Pokemon's not even an RPG. I don't really... I've actually seen people claim that Pokemon is not an RPG, and I'm like, what? <laughs> How is Pokemon not an RPG, dude? Now, the biggest debate is whether or not Legend of Zelda is an RPG. I'm on the team of Zelda as an action-adventure game. All right, guys. Jacqueline. Bring it on, Jacqueline. Gymnast Jacqueline sending out a shelter. Okay, so they're in ice type, right? Pure ice? Or are they ice water? If they're ice water, I think Petal Dance will be good. Oh, man. Petal Dance is a very scary move, though, because it locks you in. So I'm going to go ahead and use Confusion just to see what their moveset is. Okay, they've got Yawn, which is a little... You know what? We can safely pedal dance now because the yawn is going to break it, right? So we can just go for one pedal dance. Yeah! I think that'll be enough to kill as well. Super effective. Awesome. So down goes Shelter. Dude, Joy is already putting in work. Level 9? Level 9. I actually yawned after it used yawn. Ooh, guys. Should we learn Mist? Um, we could get it in place of Lock-On. I probably... Maybe Mega Kick, because Joy's attack is so bad. Also, Sauce making the spin to pop out. Thank you so much, Sauce. I think that's the first spin of the stream here. Thank you, dude. Forget Mist. Yeah, I guess we'll forget Mist, but... Yeah, I think I think keeping lock on's good just in case we get a one-hit move. I don't see Mega Kick ever really being very good on Joy. I think Mist removes status ailments. I can't remember. Or is it is it stat changes? It's one of those. I'm going to do keep battling, but then I'll swap out afterwards. So we do have Ice Beam over on Harley, so we'll go right to that. And just kind of hope that they don't have a grass attack. But honestly, Skip Loom, I don't think Skip Loom's that great of an attacker. I think Jump Bluff is pretty good. But I don't think Skip Loom, even with like a Giga Drain, I don't think they would one-shot Harley. We'll find out. Head Smash. Let's see how they do here. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, so we're going to go for Ice Beam here. What's up, Psycho? What's up, Cut Your Jar? There we go! 
Joy is already up to the double digits, so they're catching up very quick. We're still early enough in levels that we get them pretty fast here. Gymnast Jacqueline. Grr, for a kid to be this good, I didn't see it coming. When do we get the experience share in this game? Is it really late on? Um, Team Rocket was indeed broken up. Guys, they used to be a full piece of cheese, but they were broken up into blue cheese crumbles. Oh, you get it from Mr. Pokemon? Okay. Right. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. So now with that down, guys, I think the gym is open. We can go do some squats, man! Experience share at Lake of Rage. Oh, okay. I handled myself like a real hero, guys. A real one. I ain't no fake hero. I wonder if there's like anyone out there named Jim that gets really annoyed when they uh, watch Pokemon streams. I mean, I guess technically, like my name is James and some people say, oh, let's give him a pink one, dude. Um, some people say, wait, can I just give him all of them? Oop. Some people say that you can shorten James to Jim, but I've never responded to Jim. My name is James. I don't like my name, but my name's not Jim. Give me my grandpa's number. We're just getting so many numbers from old dudes. You asked that in a previous Nuzlocke? Probably, man. I mean, whenever I do these these streams, you know, you kind of ramble on for so many hours, and you, I probably end up retreading a lot of the same, a lot of the same ground as we do in previous years, you know? I mean, for one, it's been like an entire year, uh, so you, you kind of forget what you've talked about before. But also, it's just so many hours of just trying to find things to mention, so it's pretty natural that we'll hit on some of the same points from time to time. Why don't you like your name? I don't know, I mean, James is a fine name, but I, I just think it's a little bit bland. Alright guys, we're gonna go into the second gym. I guess we'll have Joy up front, and... We'll just go from there. Let's just see what happens, man. I'm gonna try to do all of the different trainer battles. I think there might even be a dual battle in, in Gen 4, the, the remake here. I can't remember. Oh, not at all, man. Okay, they totally changed this gym. Um, how does this work? All right, we have to go to this one. Yes, okay. So this one will let me fight the trainer. And we've got a couple switches to hit as well. Your name is James, mine too, man. Wait, who is ho -Oh? Um, that's a Bell Awesome. We got Rich Girl Chloe here with Surskit. Hmm. You know, Blissey might be able to deal with this if we just use Confusion. Defend Order. The crud is that. I'm guessing that's like a Vespaquin thing. Let's see. Defense Rose. Special Defense Rose as well. Wow. So, this might not do that much, actually. Yeah, let's just... I'm just gonna swap. It'll just make things a little bit quicker here. Um, let's go over to Mr. Donut Girl. We'll use some Spatial Rend here. <laughs> bug Pokemon sometimes bug me. Oh, Vital Throw. Six damage. Was anyone else kind of bummed out back in the day when you had Surskit? It was a bug water type, and it was pretty interesting. And then it evolves, and it turns into Masquerade. Now, don't get me wrong, Masquerade is a wonderfully awesome Pokemon. I think they're beautiful and awesome. But they turn into yet another bug flying. Like, there were so many bug flying. You had, uh, well, just a lot of them. It was a very common type. So you kind of lost the interesting bug water. I don't think they remedied that until Gen 7, right? I mean, now you have uh, bug water. I don't know if there was any other bug water until then. There might have been, but not that I know about. Oh, Masquerade got buffed in Gen 7. I didn't even know that. All right, we got Dust Clocks coming out here. Um, we might be able to deal. I'm gonna try, let's try Confusion. That didn't do crud. Oh no, not Bubble. Two damage. You know what, guys? We are going to win this battle. Just give me a few turns. Oh, Poison Tail. Okay, we gotta get out of here then. 
In that case, we will go to oh no. Oh wait, I just sent out a grass Pokemon against a guy that has Poison Tail. What is wrong with me? Oh, Gastro Acid. My ability was suppressed. That's fine. Uh, let's go for, I guess, just Seed Flare because it's same type of attack bonus. We've got Miracle Seed equipped, all kinds of good stuff. There we go. Look at that damage, guys. Look at that damage. How do you submit crud art? What's up, Mr. Bull? Um, I would just uh, send a tweet with the hashtag uh, crud art on Twitter, and uh, it'll it'll show up for you. Take that, rich girl, Chloe. Okay. I think we want to take the left one, because the right one's going to give us a dead end, right? So if we take this one, yeah, it'll put us right down the middle. Flex tape, y'all. Have you guys ever actually seen a package of flex tape? I mentioned this in the last stream as well, but it's like, it's comical how little they give you. It's like $15 and they give you like six feet of it. Where, for that same price for any other kind of premium tape, like a Gorilla Tape or a T-Rex Tape or like all these other premium tapes, they give you like a hundred feet or some crud. It's kind of ridiculous how little they give you. Oh right, so this Pidgey, uh, Pidgey also has Sacred Fire. Don't burn me. You burned me, you little poopy. I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, he's got the same moveset. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get him right here, though. Wait, is Sacred Fire a physical attack? Because that did a decent amount of damage to me. Okay, so what do we have next here? We're going to have a Nose Pass. I'm gonna stay, and then we'll swap, and then we'll uh, go from there. Cause I don't think Nose Pass has any kind of blocking thing. Oh, Sacred Fire is physical. Gotcha. So I guess the move sets are randomized, but they're not—they're like randomized. How to explain it? Like, not every single Pokemon has a random move. Um, basically, Pokemon of the same species have the same move. So like. One Pidgey has the same moves as another Pidgey. Wow. We actually got a freeze and then he thought out immediately and attacked me anyways. Great. Sacred Fire is ho signature move. Yeah, that's what we called it, ho no. Die. Thank goodness, man. Nose Pass is actually pretty tough. Okay, but we got him. Okay, no more messing around, guys. We've got one more Pokemon to deal with here. Ooh, Iron Head. You know, I think Iron Head is probably better than Mega Kick, but it's still not a great move for a, for a Blissey. What do you guys think? Should we get rid of Mega Kick for Iron Head? I mean, we're probably almost never going to use it, unless we like want to try to flinch him, I guess. But Blissey has a really low attack stat. Okay, the final Pokemon is going to be Butterfree, which we can pretty easily deal with with... Oh no! We've got a Sacred Fire here. A Bug Slash Metal is my favorite type. Dang. I would be so worried about that being four times weak to fire. I mean, my favorite type is um, Ice, and my second favorite type is Bug. I'm kind of keeping Lock on just in case we get a one-hit KO move or something like that. Yo, what's up, Ethan? I've been live for two hours now. Oh, four time week to rock. Well, I don't really care too much about like dual types. Not like bug ice, but, um, you know, I, I like ice types and I like bug types. I don't know if I would like a Pokemon that's both of those at once, though. I don't really go by like what's good. I'm not sure what's actually really good. I think, isn't it like water, electric, and ground in early generations is like the best trio? Like if you could have three Pokemon, you basically want a electric ground and, and water. I'm not sure if that's still how it is today, but I'm pretty sure in gens one and two, electric ground water is like the best trio. Oh yeah, gen one, Psychic, of course, was super OP as well. Just spam Earthquake. There you go, man. 
Oops. Uh, was that the right one? No. I, I needed to take the right one. Not the not the middle one, man. Let's go back. What am I riding? I'm like I'm like riding a spinnerack. Is anyone else annoyed that Spinarak only has six legs? How can you be an arachnid? Oh no! I chose wrong, guys. I knew it. We've got to go left. Always choose left. Exactly. No actual ghost moves in Gen 1 was a weird design choice. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, Ghost and Dragon were both very odd types until Gen 3. Uh, cause yeah, Gen... I don't know what we have to change here. Let's see, if we take this, it'll put us on the left. That might be fine, let's check it out. Yeah, there's a battle up there. Uh, let's go do that. But yeah, in Generation 1, the only ghost Pokémon were the Ghastly line, which were also poison po types. They have, were dual types. The first pure ghost Pokémon was Mischievous in Gen 2. And then for Dragon, you had, um... You had the Dragonite line. And then in Generation 2, they added Kingdra as well, so... In Generation 2, there was only four ghosts and only four dragons. Um... Okay, so we gotta do a battle here. I'm gonna go for... Petal Dance on myself? Sure. Does that hit my guy as well? If it does, it's probably fine, considering we uh, are a Grass-type here. Man, this is actually a pretty good team against their team. But yeah, Generation 3 added, I believe it added Salamence, and, um, I don't think Flygon was actually a dragon, was he? He looks like a dragon, but he wasn't. So Generation 3 added Salamence. I can't remember if they added any more dragons, but they added, um, Dusclops and Shuppet, so they added, added two ghost lines. Um, I think there was another ghost as well, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, Flygon is dragon. Okay, okay, yeah. Oh, Latias and Latias, of course, right. Is Generation 3 the first generation that had a legendary dragon? Because it's weird, because there's a lot of dragon legendaries, but I don't think Gen 1 and 2 had any. Is this going on YouTube? Heck yeah, it is, man. Oh, Rayquaza as well, right. Have we done card art? Yeah, we did some card art. Um, okay, so I think I want to hit... Do I want to hit the switch from the other side? Because I want to fight that trainer on the right as well. Then we'll go back and heal. Then we'll go do the gym battle. So if we hit this... Let's see. What will that do for us? I'm not sure if we have to hit, like, all the switches or just the one. Okay, so that just turns it off. Good. So if we hit this now, that'll go ahead and take us directly to the gym, which is actually not what I want. So we're going to do some backtracking. I'd like to fight all the gym leaders possible because... This is more experience. It's good to have. I used to think that Bugsy was a girl. Huh. Oh, Altaria, right. Yeah, so there's a lot of different little dragon stuff in Gen 3. Okay, so... I think we have to hit the blue from here. And then go. And that just takes us directly to that guy? Right, okay, we got it. Boom, directly into a battle. You saved all the slowpoke, wow, you're mighty. What, am I all might? More Crud Art after the gym? Yeah, we'll, we'll do a second round of Crud Art. We got Rich Girl Marilyn. There's been like three Marilyns just on, um, just on this episode, it's crazy. So I definitely do not want to use this guy against that guy. I'll probably go over to Harley here, and hopefully he does not have any crazy attacks on this Machoke. That could be scary. Oh gosh, Bugsy is not Bubsy, guys. No. Let's go for, we'll just do some Ice Beam. Maybe we'll get lucky and freeze him. We did not freeze, and we did not get even half damage. He's going for Nasty Plot. Okay, so he rose his special attack a lot, so hopefully he does not have Razor Leaf for some weird crud. One more will do it after this. Uh-oh, he's going crazy with the nasty plot. Spoiler, All Might is All Might. 
Okay, guys, Machoke is down. So now we're just going to go back and heal. There we go. We're going to go back and heal, and then we'll come do the gym battle. Let's go ride our little spinner rack into the sunset. Although we can't really see the sun because we're inside. So just remember, guys, we've got to go left. We ride the spinner rack. We take the left one when we get back. Oop. I can't move. There we go. My legs stopped working for a minute. It happens sometimes. I think there's a way we could also get a... Do not call me, Joey. Gosh dang it, Joey. Howdy. It's Joey. How are you? I was good until you called me, dude. Oh yeah, I saw a wild Kleppa. I thought about going for it, but then I failed. Oh well. I guess that's just the way it goes. I'm not very good at catching Pokemon. Click. How did you find a wild Kleppa? Where are you? Are you at the daycare center? <laughs> you can't even catch a baby Pokemon, dude. I can't remember, when you fight Joey again during the rematches, does he ever get more Pokemon? One of these times he'll find a wild Lugia. That would be awesome. I would love it so much if Joey got a top percentage Lugia. Um, Psycho, on a scale of yes to triangle, do you 18? The answer is 15, dude. Oh, just eradicate. Okay. So we take the left, the left spinner rack. We're going up, guys. We're gonna go find Bubsy. Let's go. No. Wait. Is this fine? Right, right, right. Okay. So we go here. We tap the blue. We tap the, we tap the blue, and then we go this way. Go, and then we tap the red, and now we can go fight Bubsy. Let's do it. Alrighty, guys. I'm going to start with Joy. This might be a little bit risky. I'm Bubsy. Uh-oh. He's got Bub-type Pokemon, dudes. Here we go. I think Bugsy only has Pie. No. We don't have more Pie, do we? School Girl Pie again? I thought they had two Pokemon, but no, they've got three. Starting off with Machoke. We've already fought him a choke, and we know it's not that easy. Although, I think I can do a little bit better if I use Hono instead of using uh, Poliwhirl there. We can go for that Seed Flare. Also, Metal, thank you for the bits, man. Once again, he's got that nasty plot. You know, the movesets between, like, from Machoke to Machoke and Pidgey to Pidgey, stuff like that, is consistent. So, if we ever fight a Machoke, we can keep track of their moveset and crud. Now, unfortunately, my Seed Flare missed. I'm not sure what the accuracy is. I seem to miss a lot with Seed Flare. As you can see, he is now maxing out. Maxing out his special attack. That's kind of terrifying. Here we go. Third time's the charm, guys. Get that Seed Flare. And a one-shot. Nice. So they just wasted their time doing Nasty Plot. It didn't even matter. Okay, Joy is getting all kinds of experience right there. Two more Pokemon. Shimeko coming out. What the crud type is Shimeko? I cannot even remember. Uh, we're gonna go for Mr. Donut Girl. I'm sure that's a great choice. I'm 88% sure this gym's theme is Cynthia's theme. Oh man. Oh, he's a psychic type. Okay, cool. So let's go for Spatial Rend. He's gonna go for Bide. That's a little scary, but I think we'll kill him before he gets a chance to do that crud. Let's see. That did not do very much at all, actually. Oh, man. I really don't want to take the damage from that bide. Should I go back to Joy just to absorb it? Hmm. I could also swap to Hono and try to put them to sleep. Yeah, Sleep Powder. Let's, let's try Sleep Powder. This could be bad. Yeah, Joy could have probably taken the hit, but Sleep Powder sounds pretty good as well. And we're also not hitting them this turn, so it shouldn't do too much damage. I mean, we didn't hit him that hard. Oh, he's faster than me, Crawd. So that is going to hurt quite a lot, but we're still okay. And we get the Sleep Powder, which is awesome. So now I can kind of just go for my Seed Flare once again, try to get that. Um, if they wake up, that's okay. We can just swap out afterwards. Your birthday's two days from now. Holy crud, Zach. Okay, Seed Flare. Got him, dude. Oh, no, is so good. A lot better than I was expecting them to be. 
Okay, one Pokemon to go. Trappage. All right, guys. Looks like we're doing good. Uh, I believe they're a ground type, right? <laughs> you know what? Oh, no. Just go sweep them, dude. Just go sweep them. All right, we've got one left, and we landed it, guys. Hono going for the entire sweep. There we go, guys. Another pretty easy gym battle. The bide from the Shime Echo was a little scary, but aside from that, no big deal, man. Hono going up to level 20 right here. I think they are currently our MVP. Take that, schoolgirl pie. Oh, that's the end of it. Well, all right, guys. We got ourselves our second gym badge. Let's go see what TM we get here as well. We get the... Oh, the hype badge. Good thing they didn't randomize the badges. That would have been tragic. Okay, let me get through this real quick so we can figure out what the uh, TM here. Because they say TM 89. But we don't know what that'll actually be. It contains U-turn. Okay. Well, let's go see what this TM actually is. It is... Oh, get up there. A Pokeball. No, it's, uh... We got Curse. Okay. We've also got Grudge. So we've got Grudge and Curse as TMs. Noits! But alrighty, guys. We've got our second gym badge, so I guess we'll go ahead and wrap things up here for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I guess next time we'll head off to Goldenrod and see if we can gosh dang beat Whitney. Although she's not gonna have a mill tank this time, which is awesome. But I'll see you guys then. Take care. Alright, guys. So that is it for the highlight video. I'm going to keep recording for the uh, the full video here, because I like to show the credit art on the full video as well. So let's go do some credit art, guys. And then I guess we'll wrap it up, dude. So we've got a lot of credit art to get through once again. Not nearly as much as last time, though. Last time was like 80. This time we've got like 40, so it, it's more manageable, guys. We can make it through this. Uh, let me just scroll down and see if I can get to the right point. Okay, here we go. So this is where we left off, I think, right? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> hold, hold on, guys. Before we do this... Getting a frog in my throat. Let me get some water real quick. Yo, that cucumber water is awesome. Although, I still got frogs. Oh no, man. I've got a polytoad in my throat, dude. <clears throat> I think we're good. So let me get some images opened here. I'm at least excited that my voice waited until the end of the stream to give out. That's exciting. Okay, so I usually do about 10 images per round, and since we've got about 40, we'll, we'll have about four rounds here. Let me click this real quick. Uh, one second, guys. You know what? I'm just going to scroll through my timeline. Instead of doing them one by one, Let's just scroll through the timeline. Um, most of them are not cut off. Some of them are. But as long as they're all safe, I'm just going to go through the timeline. It'll be a lot easier to do. Uh, let's see. Make sure everything's good. As long as I don't click anything on anything, it won't enlarge it or anything like that. So it should be fine. Okay, looking good. Looking good. So I'm going to go down to... I think about... Here? Here we go. Okay, guys, everything looks safe. Thank you guys so much for not sending any PPs or anything like that. It really helps out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and crop this real quick. Just to help make this a little bit bigger. Let's go crop that. Just oh, Let's get that cropped down. There we go, guys. Okay. So now we can just go through. So we've got the Pidgey right here. We're in the ho, -Ho costume. Looking cute as ever. Also, oh, I got this kind of above the thing. Thank you so much, Madeline, for the bits, dude. He's so cute. I think these are bugles. Again, I'm not going to click on any images to see the full size, but I'm pretty sure this is a bugle. I'm pressing the B button right there. We kind of saw this one before. Some of these are kind of mixed in with uh, stuff we've already seen. But look at this, guys. A Harley made out of Harleys. Over here, we've got the B button on the... Uh, I think that's a new 3DS right there. It looks like he's playing Pokemon... Sun or Moon? I think this is Gen 7. Maybe that's Gen 6. I can't remember. I think it's Gen 7, though. We got all of the B buttons ready. N none of them are being pressed right here, but they are ready, man. I just think it's so funny that people are, like, watching the stream with, like, a bunch of game controllers next to them ready to press B buttons. We've got the B button pressed right here. 
I don't even know what this says. I'm not sure what language that is, man, but pressing that B. We got the Hono B button there. He turned his arcade stick. Oh, dude, is that an 8 arc? I think that's an 8 arc. Almost looks like an 8 arc obsidian, but I'm not sure, man. But really nice looking arcade stick, and he made a B button out of it. That's awesome. Ash meets the legendary Hono, the biggest Pidgey you guys have ever seen. Yeah! Got the B movie right there. Uh oh. Didn't press that B movie, though, but still. Got that B movie. Over here, we've got Poly Swag. This one, uh. It's from a previous thing. I can't remember, where was Polyswag originally from? We saw this one before. Oh, version 2! He's got the, uh, the Yoshi Yarn Amiibos right here. That is quite the Amiibo collection, man. Oh, that's actually really awesome! So it's got the Pidgey with the Shadow of a ho -Oh. I love it. Over here we've got Jade Harley. <laughs> I don't even know, man. Looking cool. Oh, is it Homestuck? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is. Here we got Big Red. I'm Hono and I'm angry. Give me my Miracle Seed. We did. We got them the Miracle Seed. Also, here we've got Mr. Donut Girl. Look how cute. Looks like this was drawn. I want to say this is colored pencils, but it might be crayons. I think it's colored pencils, though. Uh oh. GG. Hashtag crud art. I'm not sure. Oh, is that like a donut on Mew? We've got the GameCube, we've got the Wii U, and the original Xbox, guys. For those who don't know, the original Xbox did not have an LB or an RB button. Instead, right down here, there's a black button and a white button. So it had black and white instead of a second set of triggers. Also, there's two memory card slots on the controller, kind of similar to what the uh, Dreamcast and the Nintendo 64 had. Here we've got Pidgey breathing some sacred fire. Awesome. Mr. Donut Girl once again with the donuts. And more Donut Girls. This time with a pipe? Not with the donut, man. They've got the top hat. They've got the pipe. And they've got like a tie, even. Okay, this one's kind of sideways, guys. But we've got Wahe14 with Mr. Donut Girl. It's so cute. It's a little bit cropped off. Let me see if I can uh, open that one here. Um, Yeah, it looks good. So it's kind of still sideways, but... You can kind of see it a little bit better here. Still a little bit cropped off because my stream is weird, but... Yeah, that's cute, dude. Uh-oh. Let me scroll back down. Uh, oh no, where was I? I'm lost! Oh, here I was. I was here. Okay. You can see now we've got... I don't know I don't know why does Mr. Donut Girl always get a top hat? I don't know, but I like it, man. Over here, you missed my last session. I spent two hours on this. Please love me. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can get this one blown up here. Look at that, guys. It's got the Wahey text on the top. Let me uncrop it for a second. Look at that, dude. Wahey 14. The whole team right here, or this was the whole team in a while, but that is beautiful. I like how Play-Doh's like a little can of Play-Doh, dude. That's cute. Hello? Hi, Clevy. I'm trying to get out of work until gosh dang. 130. You know why? Why? Because the mail can come into the office. The mail? The mail. Did you have so to what? sort it? I have to go through it. Got the checks. They're waiting for the mailboxes. Look, the mail dude literally brought a box so freaking huge. It took me an hour, like a whole hour just to get everything situated. Dang. And then after that, I gotta freaking log it in the computer. <laughs> so I told my coworker Carrie, I'm like, if anyone needs Dang. Not <laughs> Look, chat's freaking out because you're here. Man. Clevy's mad, guys. Um, okay, so I guess we'll go back to some crud art. Hi, Clevy. Welcome home. Hello. <laughs> yeah, the cat's here too, guys. The cat is here too. Yeah, she's here. Hi, kitty. Oh, she's looking at my finger. Okay, let's get some crud art going, guys. Look at this crud. We've got, <laughs> we've got Mr. Donut Girl once again. Looking beautiful. Couldn't be bothered to color. That's fine. Most of these aren't colored in. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at this. He's got two different Fire Emblem games pressing the B and pressing the B on the 3DS itself. I think this is Awakening and I don't even know what this one is. Some, uh, some talent. Talent. Here we've got Xenoblade Chronicles. Right there it's saying like, you can't touch this, but he's doing it anyways. 
as you can say, he's really feeling it. Woo! <laughs> 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 man! Oh, man. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, jeez. <laughs> We've got the Disco Waffle 2 Electric Boogaloo. We've got some Joy-Cons and some 3DS action right there. We've got Hono using Sacred Fire. Look at this, guys. The fake mail. <laughs> so for those who missed it, we caught a ghastly, and for some reason we were going to name it Envelope, but then we named it Tootvelope, so we imagine that he's sending a fake mail that's actually a fart. It's, it's a Tootvelope, dude. Up here we've got someone pressing the B button on a giant bank. Wow. Is watching the stream on his phone over there? What? Let me just make sure this is all still safe here. Oh man. It's a few more to get through, guys, but we're almost we're almost through here. Oh, that was Grand Theft Auto. Wow. <laughs> that makes way more sense. I'm like, why is the guy standing on a building right now? Okay, right here we've got Mr. Donut Girl. I don't know what these are, like little galaxies? We got uh, Butt Junior as a ghost, oh no. I think this is a stack of donuts, I can't tell. Oh, donut holes, okay. Look at this, guys. Whoa, we've got <laughs> hashtag whoa. The real question is, guys, do you spell it W-O-A-H like that? Or do you spell whoa, W-H-O-A? Which, which team are you on, guys? Like Crash Bandicoot right there. Also, Ninja PP. so someone had to sneak the Ninja PPs into the uh, crud art here, but it's okay. Also, Ninja Gaiden Ninja right here, Ryu Hayabusha, or whatever his name is, pressing that B button, man. Um, I'm not gonna watch that just in case, but... Oh, okay, so he's saying he made a program that puts a B on the screen, and if you move the mouse, it'll create a trail of Bs, and if you press capital B, that's kind of awesome. What did you get? What did I get? I don't know. I don't know what this is. Oh, oh! It's probably my rechargeable batteries for the Xbox controller. Oh, nice. Yeah, <laughs> that is a slugma, but also very buff. He's a buff ma. Why? <laughs> why not? Also, why is there um, Doki Doki Literature Club? Back there? Doki Doki Literature Club. Yeah. Oh, is that what that is? Oh, I thought it was just some 3D room. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it might be, but look at this! Pressing the B on the Betty White book. She's calling you out, dude. Is that really your book, or did you, did you take that from your mom, dude? Okay, um, we've got the whole team. They've all got Ws. Especially, ooh! Let's see up here. Hono used Sacred Fire. My first crud art. Heck yeah, man. Well, it's Italian. Look, it has the Italian flag. He's got the Italian flag on the wings. Awesome. Here we've got... We've got Tootvelope, <laughs> special delivery. It's the ghastly name Tootvelope. He likes to sneak into letters and stuff. Well, because his uh, his poke. Sounds like cantaloupe. Well, his his um his Pokedex entry said envelope, so we changed that to envelope, and then we changed it to Tootvelope. He sends himself in the mail as a fart. Okay, well, he literally literally sounds like cantaloupe. So I'm putting You're that out there, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna mute the game sound, guys, because Clubby is kind of quiet. So hopefully you guys can hear her a little bit I'm better. Way back here talking about cantaloupes. Yeah. Um, okay, we've got <laughs> everyone using their crazy attacks. We've got the gosh dang DS right here with Pokemon Soul Silver right there. Wait, wait a second. Are you pressing the A button? The B button's right there. They're pressing the A button. Oh no. Oh no. It's okay. It's okay, dude. It's what okay. What have you done? But he's got a Celebi right. Look at that team. Got some crazy good stuff there. The Celebi, Latios, Keldeo, Thunderous, Gliscor, and. That one. I okay. think that's a Kyogre. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Good job. Look buddy. at dude, Tootvelope. Oh my gosh, it's so precious. Yeah, he sends himself as a fart. Is that a chicken nugget? Oh no. That's a donut. donut. It's because it's Mr. Donut Girl. <laughs> Anyways, let me check these last seven guys to make sure there's no peepees. <laughs> Let's make sure these are all good. Okay. We're safe. Look at this, guys. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild pressing the beat. They got the limited edition right there. Breath of the Wild. Breath? And also, wreath. oh, wreath. Like a wreath, you know, like the thing you put on your Yeah, wreath, wreath of the wreath. Wild. Yeah. We also got the B button gift right there. Got uh, Harley. 
Barley. Harley Barley. Okay. Interesting. Right here, we've got the bacon flavored snacks. Mm. And we've got some 3DS right here. Pressing the B and on the keyboard as well, pressing the B. Speaking of bacon, I'm freaking starving. Yeah. It's crud art time. Perfect time for me to call you. <laughs> okay. Okay, and, Anthony. All right, guys. That is all of the crud art. So I guess we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I Are hope you, you enjoyed. Are you serious? What? I just got home. Yeah, but we're done now. I thought you were going until 4 o'clock. No, that's the only on normal streams. Today, oh my. Uh, I'm done because I beat the gym. All right. Take care, guys.